to episode three, uh, the Great Pendragon campaign, at least the prologue for us. Uh, year is still 480. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Thomas for introductions here. Hello, I'm Thomas, and I'm playing Goratrix of House Winterborn Stoke. Mark? I'm then. Hello, I am Mark, and I'll be playing Sir Edward of Edmiston. And Liam. Hi, I'm Liam. Uh, I'm playing Sir Dallin of Durnford, uh, and we're we're having a we're having a grand old time. All right. So uh, when we last left off, uh, you were joining the mus the muster, heading to the Battle of Benavia, uh in Cambria. So basically, uh, what would be modern Wales. Uh, to fight the Irish. You are heading to fight the Irish. Um, but we're going to take a brief aside before we dive into the detail. Uh, we're going to go ahead and figure out where the hell all of you are sired. Or a brief squired. aside before we dive right. into the detail. Uh, we're going to go ahead and figure it's out important. where I just want to say, all of you are it, it wasn't part of the, uh, the original recap, but last detail. episode we, uh, we uh, made a mortal enemy. He doesn't know that we're his mortal enemies yet, but at any given opportunity, we will we, we we will be snippy to him. We're gonna rivalry from afar to him <laughs> for now. Exactly. Just all and eventually, eventually though, mm. I am gonna kill him. It's gonna happen. Yeah, um, I'll help. <laughs> that, that's fair. <laughs> He's not a good dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, it may we, seem we, like we a got... harsh thing to say, but um, no, truly deserve it. He's a dick. Yeah, he's a dick. He's dishonorable, and also, like, we got the prince on our side already, so we're good. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, all right, let's figure out where you're all from, um, or where you're being squired, rather, right now. So these are your, your main characters. Where are your main characters right now? Because I think it's important, as we do the yearly thing, to have a good sense of where, where the main characters are, since they're the... Um, the, the soon to be lords of their their manners. Um, you're all gonna give me a one d six roll. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Nice, good oh. spread. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Did Is anyone get a one or two? I got a one. I almost got a one. All right. You are squired in the same county and homeland as your father. So um, uh, hey, nice. your main characters will be squired in Salisbury. Um, gotcha. That's do we have any threes or fours? Three and four. Three and That's four so for okay. Mark and I. You're both in the same region, but not the same county necessarily. Um, so we're going to roll... To determine this one sec. I like me some rolls. All right, uh, I need a d20 roll from both of you. All right. <laughs> That's a one, baby. You know the place where all of the Saxons and the Irish and the Picts converge? That spot. See, I hate one of those three, but <laughs> which one I'll never tell. It's the Picts. <laughs> and who could like them? With their kilts and their claymores. The all Picts right. are natural enemies of English. Not even the Picts. What was the uh, um, like what were the, the outcomes of those rolls? Uh, oh, uh, go ahead, Mark. I got a 10, okay, and I got a one. All right, um, so, um, Perrin, I believe his name is that's Liam's character, correct? Uh, Perrin will be in, um, you're actually being squired in the Saxon shores, so that's interesting. So you're oh fun, yeah. nice yeah. little vacation we'll, spot. We'll figure out what like that, that looks like, but you're still in Lo <laughs> Logris. Um, all of you are in Logris. Um, Mark, you got a ten, right? Yep. You're in the South Counties. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Um, so for uh, Liam, go ahead and give me another D twenty roll. How many Saxons are eyeing your business? <laughs> oh, 
hot Saxons in your area looking to get speared. <laughs> if if it was Salisbury, it'd be the farmers only. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what did you roll there, Liam? Oh, uh, what was the other? What was the second roll I'm supposed to be making? Uh, D twenty. Another D twenty. Yeah. Yep. I goofed it. Hang on. Doesn't matter. I believe in you. There we go. There go. 13. Sorry. 13. Huntland. You are being squired in Huntland. Um, someone can just make a note for me on that. It would be awesome. And then, Mark, go ahead and give me your D20. Mm -hmm. South County. Yes. Thirteen. Oh, yeah, thirteen. Oh, interesting. Uh, Brock. Brock. Um, Brock is um, home to basically the only accepted Saxons <laughs> in, in. Oh, for God damn it! The, the, <laughs> the, the they're the only ones that the Kimrick of Logris kind of full fledged accept. They. They fought the same. They fought on the same side, basically, as the rest of Logris did through through all the turmoil with Vortigern and, and his. Um, well, as much as there was really truly one side, but in the past of of the the wars uh, that that your grandfathers and fathers went through, the Barak were they were victims of the uh, Night of Long Knives. They were not participants in it. Yes. These ones didn't kill our fathers. Yeah. Um, where did you say that was? Rutland? Uh, Barak. B-E-R-R-O-C. Which I believe is, um, uh, I don't remember where that is actually now. It might be Surrey okay. in modern England, but I will double check that. Um, uh, at a later time. Not a huge point for now, because our focus is, is not those characters. It's yes. Gortrix, Edward, and Dallin. So, <laughs> Uh, we'll zoom in now. Um, you've uh, managed to journey uh, through most of Logris and then into Cambria, uh, finally finding yourself amongst the, the greater muster, the organized army. Um, it is the night before the actual um, battle is, is to begin. Um, sightings of, of the, uh, or news of the, the ships uh, of the Irish uh, have been circulating within the units and, and we're almost certain that this battle will begin uh, the following morning. Um, I'm gonna let the three of you just kind of get your feet wet in character. Maybe we'll set a scene with, with, um, with Gortrix, Edward and Dallin um, all together um, maybe by a, a campfire. Um, this is your first, I think, all of your first full-fledged battle. Like some yeah. of you might have been in skirmishes, mm -hmm. but um, if anyone's over 24, I would accept that they maybe weren't because <laughs> there's enough battles here. Um, but safe to say that, that a lot of you have avoided um, the mass battles. Um, um, at least a battle of this size. Let's go with that, actually. Uh, a battle yeah, of this size battle. you've never encountered. Mm. Uh, Goratrix, for his part, uh, has brought along with him on the campaign uh, the horses of House Winterborn Stoke, of which, if they're not particularly good, they are certainly many. Uh, he's got two extra round seats that he's brought with him for spares and for uh, uh, helping with the baggage train. Um, but currently, uh, all that is near our little campfire is uh, a little peg where his uh, charger is uh, leashed up to, and he's got a whetstone, which he is applying uh, to his longsword. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. Uh, 
Edward himself would mostly be getting his ho his own horse res ready, his uh, war horse charger. Um, though he does prep his, uh, making sure his his lance is um, uh, ready in case a charge needs to be made, uh, making sure it is properly sharpened at the tip. Otherwise, he's just sitting quietly, kind of mumbling to himself something in something from his memory, perhaps from his childhood. And what is Dallin up to? Uh, Dallin doesn't have uh, too much in the way of things to bring. Um, really, they've just got their wits amongst them. So uh, they're going to take their, their war gear and their war horse and be ready to... Uh, to, 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 to make the charge uh, gonna especially try to look like they know what they're doing <laughs> as much as possible uh, yeah so so right now there are many knights um, uh, mingling and walking around um, you know that is one advantage Logris has is just its sheer number of knights mm -hmm. they say that the Irish are predominantly footmen um, so that is that is one advantage um but there's also some rumors going around that you're outnumbered significantly for this battle and there's kind of uh you know, there's different opinions on that the the bolder ones say something akin to ah we'll squash them anyways you know give me one night target rich environment yeah there are others though that say this is madness. We can't fight a fight um, with this sort of odds. Like the sheer numbers alone, they could be all peasants, and this would still be troublesome. So there's definitely uh, varying opinions, uh, maybe even a couple of arguments that happened earlier in the evening about this. And as you sit um, with the, uh, by the fire, you know the the moon rises, and you can you can tell it's um, nearing that almost ominous feeling. Things are getting a bit more quiet. The distant, distant calls of various orders and conversations are being had, but it's not the kind of um, merry sort of uh, festivities or background that you're used to in in places like feasts and, and manners. I must admit, uh, Gortrick speaks up, a uh, voice cutting through the night. The war tents are surprisingly bad for morale. I think I'd be much more confident if uh, every other person weren't, uh, uh, let us say, uh, dreading and uh, speaking openly about the possibility of uh, failure. This is, uh, I think, uh, all of our first time in something like this. I, I do enjoy the fighting, but um, and there's so much to consider. Uh, it's going to be a lot of blood. Mm. Everyone just kind of mumbles while looking up. Dallin. Certainly. Oh. Sorry, go, go ahead, Mark. <laughs> Certainly seems like people are not prepared for what is coming next. Perhaps they should learn to make peace with themselves. That's the best part of any fight. If you fail, you die. I have been in proper combat, though no, not a war. Uh, not since uh, my very young days as a squire when, well, you know, our fathers would fight. I do wonder then, then if there is truly much difference. Dallin, we were no. far away. Dallin. Sorry, you go. Yeah, uh, Dallin very specifically makes no attempt to, like, they're they're here and they're present by the campfire, but they are very actively avoiding talking much. Um, they don't seem too nervous, though. Just kind of, like, very much aware of their surroundings. Speaking of aware of your surroundings... <laughs> um... Arrow! Dallin, uh, Dallin, why don't you go ahead and give me an awareness roll? Um, the other two, you can give me a battle roll. 
delightful. I, I love making rolls. I'm sure this will not backfire on me at all. Hey. That'll be an elf for me, dog. Hey! A fumble for me. Could have been oh, worse. No. <laughs> it could have been that guy. Okay. <laughs> the arrow actually is a thing. Um, <laughs> so we'll, <laughs> we'll go around. Um, regarding your, your comments, Mark, uh, Edward um, does have a pretty pragmatic view of this. Um, it, it doesn't matter who the enemy is. You know, when it comes to uh, battle, uh, it's a matter of your your personal situation, and then you know the the sheer battle itself. And um, Edward's able to understand that and grasp it. As as the only one that succeeded on that, I'll let you go ahead and uh, tick that. Yeah, usually, it's on critical only, but I think it, oh, I think it's good. As Edward kind of gets some insight, like you're very confident in in your own. Um, thought about that very certain that uh, pragmatic is the way to approach this not necessarily pessimistic but pragmatic mm -hmm. uh, for um, for Goratrix uh, what, what do you think a criti I'm going to workshop this one with you Thomas what do you think a critical failure might look like here okay so this is the understanding of the battle, right? Not just, um, yeah. I, it would be in character for, let's say, suicidal overconfidence, just as much as it would be a sudden awareness of one's mortality. Goratrix likes fighting. Perhaps he likes fighting a little too much. We've got this in the bag, guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Goratrix is, is overconfident. Uh, We're that. good. Where's um, the and, Merlin's and, with us. <laughs> and um, Dallin, um, for your, for Dallin, funny enough, um, you know, you're kind of participating, sort of listening in. You, you're more present than you are um, participating, I guess. Um, and <laughs> you, you'd love to notice uh, if someone was approaching you, um, someone of importance. Would, but... I, but I would you, indeed. <laughs> but it's not till the shadow of this large man kind of looms over you uh, just a few feet away that you realize that someone's here uh, right behind you, effectively. Uh, Dallin will kind of instinctively straighten their back and uh, kind of turn to, to more properly face the this, this stranger. Uh I recognize them at all? Yeah, it's uh, Maddox, Sir Maddox. Uh, oh, child. thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Maddox gives you a firm, uh, uh, almost punch on the shoulder. Um, Dallas, uh, Edward, Goratrix, <laughs> how are you all? Doing well. Are you ready for the affairs tomorrow? I think we should I make it so. quite short. Indeed. Hopefully it will be a quick battle. As ready as we can be, I suppose. I've never I can only liked hope the, the Irish. Sun could be the rest of us. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can only hope the same can be said of the rest of us. There is not dissent, uh, but there is certainly a uh, fear. Fear? He kind of looks oblivious to this and looks around. This is... Is there any one of you afraid? What, where are you seeing or hearing of this fear? It's the Irish. I'm good. They barely carry any armor. Most of them will. I think the fear them. is. I fear, my lord, the fear is more for their numbers rather than their fighting skill. Numbers. <clears throat> Peasants with pitchforks, hoes, and shovels. I worry not. We have knights, knights with steeds, lance, swords, if it come to it. Uh, speaking well, that is understandable, my lord. The one thing I would ask you to also remember is knights are also men. Men sometimes are subject to their 
mortal fears. It's only understandable in some cases. But I digress. You're right, this should not be an issue. And they will, they will act with bravery and courage when their blood is up, I have no doubt. Are Indeed. you at all worried for our commitment, sir? What do you mean, our commitment? He kind of turns down. And he's already got an air, like, within the few months it took to get here, or month, I guess, it took to get here, he's already got this... Uh, uh, a, a sense of his regal sort of blood uh, to him that he didn't carry before. He's yeah, he's not more... the little, not the little squire boy that we found on the road anymore. Now he's like, oh, I'm a prince or yeah. whatever. He's not so much um, trying to throw it around in anyone's face as much as it's definitely coming out in his confidence. And right. Is... He's he's sort of embodying it. He's. Yeah. It's less that he's letting it get to his head, but more it's like creeping up there. Exactly. So he looks to Dallin with that comment and raises a brow. What well, do you mean? Well, it would seem wise to be wandering around assessing the situation for the troops. You don't know very many of us very well. I can see why you might potentially be concerned about combat effectiveness, we'll say. Very well. I'll speak to my father about it. Perhaps we'll prepare a speech before the battle begins. Something to rouse the men. We are knights. Right. And a large number in our muster. They'll have little chance, I assure you. I imagine some words of wisdom would go a long way. Hmm. Wisdom. Hmm. I'll talk to Merlin. <laughs> Uh, she, she, uh, he laughs just a little bit at that and then very quickly like decides that he should not have laughed and like tries to kind of hide it with with posture and body language <laughs> he seems to move past that already and he, he kind of he walks over to Edward and kind of puts his hand on Edward's shoulder and says I do have some good news for the three of you though I think it's best that you avoid the cowards if there are any on our field of battle and I can tell you there's one place where you will not encounter them. I will see to it personally that the three of you are able to enter the first charge. The vanguard? Glorious. We are honored to hear that, my lord. And though Edward appears to smile, on the inside he is deeply grimacing. <laughs> Gartrex on the inside is Gartrex on the outside. He's like, yeah, let's do it. Um, uh, and you know what? I'll, I'll let all of you test your your battle. Um, score with this. I'm not sure that Dallin knows what the Success. Vanguard is. Yeah, that's... that's, a, that's a, this is to kind of roll and see what you do know. So. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I hope I succeed. I, I fumbled it. <laughs> I, I succeeded. We swapped places. Yeah. Excellent. All right. So um, this this oh is how God. this goes. So uh, I'm really good at battle. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. the way of things. If you're good at something, mm. you fail. <laughs> um. Uh, what what this ultimately means, I think, is and not only fail but critical. That's even better. Um, okay, so for Edward and Gortrix, um, you know exactly what this means. The the vanguard is the greatest place to. He's right in a sense. Like it is the place to be if you um, want to encounter glory. If you want to be around brave men, um, fighting side by side with them. Uh, and and of course also means a higher likelihood of death. Dying first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Not not only dying first, but just by fighting first, your your odds of odds of death are greater, right? Uh, but yeah. it does come with glory. Yeah. Uh, for Dallin, um, I would say you, you do have a fifteen. So I'm having a hard time buying that that Dallin wouldn't understand battle in this. I think instead it's more a matter of 
um, his words seem to resonate with you. And, and for whatever reason, uh, you find yourself um, sort of more uh, more confident uh, about the the situation ahead. Uh, you aren't joining really, the confidence club. Yeah, you you, you are uh, um, you aren't really thinking about the vanguard being uh, the most dangerous place. You're you're just like he's right. You know, we'll be in the, we'll oh, be yeah. surrounded by. Look at all the names. Of, look at all these uh, big knights that will be chosen for this. Did, such an honor. Did, did Maddox say that he was going to be there with us as well? Ah, uh, no, no, absolutely. No, not. he's okay. It's just no. us that. Oh boy, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> definitely wouldn't be. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a royal blood. They don't go into that. Yeah. Now, now no. you do get from Maddox that he would not be afraid to be there. Like, mm-hmm. it's more like there's a practical measure when it comes to royal blood and ransoming. Mm-hmm. And death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's more more don't point your you know your important chess figure pieces in the front that's where the yeah, pawns exactly. go so yeah. <laughs> that's us yeah. yeah i'm glad we made our role clear uh, <laughs> i don't know i'm at least a bishop you guys i don't <laughs> i thought we were knights we are we are literally knights <laughs> yeah. i don't remember what the name of the strategy is but it's like when you those are the first pieces you move name for it <laughs> Yeah. So um, Maddox doesn't have too much more to add to the situ to to the conversation. Do any of you have anything to say to him before he wanders off? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for the honor. Uh, we will not let you or our king down. Indeed. Yes. He nods. Uh, enjoy your uh-huh. enjoy your sleep. Uh, tomorrow will come quick, and soon after our victory. Yes. Thank you, my I wish, I wish the fighting didn't end in death. I wish we could do it to first blood or surrender like we did in the duels. This is a lot of blood to be spilt. But uh, we will not shirk. Indeed. I imagine a great deal of people are unwilling to accept anything other than that. Mm. One way or the other, fighting especially when you lose, is a measure of pride. And I fear that a great deal of people would rather die than just lose and be content with that. Mm. That's Mm. fair. Indeed. Wise words. Dallin looks confused. All right. Um, I will say, at the point where Maddox leaves and then is out of earshot, Edward's just gonna drop his lance, move over his sword, and just go, "Oh shit, 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 shit!" Uh, and start uh, desperately uh, sharpening his uh, the weapon he's most familiar with. Dallin's gonna what's, look at what's Gortrix. That? Yeah, D- Dallin's gonna look at Gortrix and see if he knows what the fuck is going on. Are you? Are you? Uh... We will. You'll. You'll be fine. Uh, there's. There's nothing to worry about. We knew that battle oh, was yes. going to be dangerous, but you're. You're. You're good. But you'll have. Oh, us no, no. We. Started. We knew this was dangerous. I didn't know we would be fighting first. Ah. Is that not a good thing? I understand. Yeah. There's risk involved, but surely they wouldn't send us out into a suicide <sighs> mission. I will say this, there is no glory without risk, that is for sure. And this is a hell of a lot of glory. But do you know what that also means? A great deal of risk. A lot of risk. Uh, Yes, we would not have been given the duty if uh, we were not worthy of it. Our lives are, uh, well, the realms, the kings. (laughs) Yes. Out of curiosity... You don't think Sir Jarek had any part in assigning who's on the vanguard, do you? Oh, he better fucking not have. I'll break <laughs> his knees. Um, but why would you? Yeah. <laughs> I would agree to this. I'll take the left. Dallin uh, uh, actually laughs at that, like, legitimately. <laughs> it's just worry, I suppose. I thought this well, battle as, was more simple. Yeah. As was said uh, earlier, uh, to Maddox, uh, uh, to worry is 
perfectly human, uh, but um, uh, a person without fear is a fool. Um, bravery is being scared and doing it anyway, and well, that's what that's that's what we do. There, admittedly, is a lot that I would leave behind if I were to if I were to fall during this fight, but hopefully, God willing, if I do well enough, it can help promise a future for the rest of my family. Exactly so. Uh, one other thing um, that I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to test on here, uh, but before I do that, Liam, go ahead and mark for that fumble. We're going to let you go ahead and, and mark reckless and trusting. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fun. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're going to go higher in those areas. It's, it's just yeah, ways yeah, to yeah. round out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means you might go higher. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> yeah. um, and then um, I'm going to get all of you to test um, probably intrigue in this case. Uh, fun. Yep, yeah, shoot this much. Failure. Success. Oh. Also a success, but just barely. Oh, yeah. Just Ooh. barely is good. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, crit. yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's almost a, really good. Yeah, it's almost really good. Yeah. There's really not a difference between a two and a nine, unless in combat that gets a little more interesting. Uh, but <laughs> we'll get into that soon. Um, okay, so um, both Goratrix and Dallin, um, throughout. Uh, the conversations today and something that you weren't aware of um, you were originally pitched the concept of this being uh, King Gilomanius right uh, of Ireland um, so King Gilomanius is of Ireland is the one that is marching on on Cambria um, that alone was concerning but you kind of wondered you know things like this raids and, and such they happen especially from the Irish, especially in Gambria. Um, what you've learned since you've um, been talking like throughout the day here, like earlier today, um, there is another key figure behind this, uh, someone known as Passions. That is um, the, and um, we'll say for, for Edward, you heard about Passions as well. It's been a conversation, a whisper on, uh, many sort of knights' tongues uh, in preparation for today. Um, mm. But for those that succeeded on the intrigue, what you get is you know the name Passion uh, quite well. It's the only surviving son of Vortigern. Oh, shit. Yeah. And uh, rumors I'm are that he's, he's also the... behind this muster. So. Mm. Uh, how do you spell Passion? Um, P-A-S-C-H-E-N-T. Oh, I was just thinking, I was just thinking. Passion. Like, yeah, <laughs> I was thinking just passions. <laughs> yeah. They named him after a cat. It's so strange. <laughs> named him after a fruit from the east. Yeah, I should have. All right. Yeah, so I'll give you folks a moment with that in case there's anything you want to socialize in this scene. Uh, if not, we can... We can move on to the next day. Yeah, I think I'm good. It is unlikely that, uh, well, our king's opposing numbers will uh, fight in the van, but it's possible we have the opportunity to draw blades against them, which, which would be interesting. Figures like that, well, you know they've been trained well. Unlikely, though. Most likely they'll be in the back. Yes, yes. A shame. It's possible we could fight through them, but well, if we're the first ones to go in, yeah, we might not get much yeah. of a choice. Especially, we're probably not that good. Especially if they outnumber us. I imagine we'll have to do quite a bit of fighting before we get to that point. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Wouldn't we that were, be a glorious be tale, though? I don't know. Indeed. Uh, Edward, how far do you think you could throw a spear? Maybe you could get lucky. Pretty damn far. <laughs> oh, I don't know that far. <laughs> I suppose we'll have to wait till tomorrow to see. 
Indeed. Well, all right. In which case, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. All right. Yep. Time. On to the next day. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. We are going to die. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, despite, I thought Goratrix would be the only one feeling like pleased about it, but nope, nope. Edward's the odd one out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Oh Jesus. <laughs> that man on the on the left there, he does not look happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's this beautiful face on stream. <laughs> I'm supposed to be home. <laughs> okay. So um We're going to so basically I'll give you kind of the uh, general gist of it, and then we'll get into a tiny bit of role playing, you know, a uh, bit of narrative here before we dive into the mechanics. Um, there are multiple rounds in a battle. Um, you're not certain how many rounds there are. I'm going to kind of keep that blind. I think I it's okay to tell you how many rounds there are, but there will be certain battles where I won't, and you'll just kind of find out as the battle lingers. And goes on. Um, so, uh, the the generals are Prince Uther and King Gilomanius. Um will be walking through basically when you end up in, in combat scenarios. Um, there will be opportunities that you're rolling. So this is a bit more of a thematic battle system. There is a, a more like a strategic unit based battle system cool. in the Book of Battles, which I've heard is really, really like too much. So, um, <laughs> but I've also seen someone, uh, someone sent me a link to, um, I think it was Eric Bulgaris, uh, sent me a link to one that's like in the middle. So it's, um, it, it's a little less narrative focused, like there's unit based stuff. And uh, we'll, we'll play around with that as we go. In the prologue, mm -hmm. definitely let's start with the base book version and kind of work our way out, I think. So, yeah. um, Sounds good. So the three of you uh, find yourself um, in the the organized group uh, known as um, basically the first lance or the first charge. Um, I'll Soon go... to be the artists formerly known <laughs> as the. <laughs> uh, it's quite a large group, and 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 to set the scene, you see a whole sea, um, and I'm sure, I'm, I'm thinking, like, was it Troy? You know, that's that scene of just yeah, a horizon yeah. of ships mm -hmm. just coming this way. There's smaller boats, of course, um, but there's just a sea of them. Uh, well, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is uh, It is concerning. Um, we're going to get you all to uh, test your Valorous, just to see if you can maintain your sort of resolve here. Um, Oh, that's the that's the one I'm really good at. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we don't fail this. this is... Yeah. Oh, oh god <laughs> damn. I, have it. <laughs> I think you jinxed yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so um so for Mark, at least at the beginning of this first charge, it's, it makes a lot of sense. Edward was not confident mm. or happy about this, right? Yeah. Um mm. Uh, you know, as they as the Irish start to come out off the ships and start to prepare and organize, um, Uther uh, rides out. You can hear that he's giving a speech. You can't hear the speech from from the first charge. <laughs> um, it turns out it's not a movie that way. Um, so uh, there's not speakers or intercom set up. You know, somewhere uh, not too far away, Uther. Uh, is is delivering a fine speech based on the response. There are those that are raising their blades and shouting in turn. Most of the, most of the folks with you uh, are are also doing the same. You see one guy lean over and are say, you... "Are you hearing anything he's saying?" He leans over to Dallas. Yeah. I did imagine like a scene where it shows like this uh, the speech going on and it just cuts to us and it's just like, "What is he saying?" Yeah, what's that Can bit you hear from? A word? Uh... What's that bit from Shazam? Like, <laughs> I, I, um, I, I don't know what he's saying. It sounds inspiring. Uh, 
I heard family, but I didn't get anything else beyond that. Dallin, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dallin will will kind of shrug lightly to the the soldier next to him and go, uh, not really from this distance. I was kind of expecting him to perhaps ride along or have heralds, but um, I suppose that's not really Luther's style. Did he say something about a rash? No Irish, right. No, that, just... that makes more sense. I thought that too. All right. Um, Mark, you can tick the... I can't remember what it is. It's next to Valorous. Cowardly. Cowardly. Yeah, yeah you can tick that. <laughs> uh, likelihood is low that you're going to roll that anyways. You know. Yeah. Um, uh, also, it... Mark, Holy for... Shit. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, sorry. I was just, I was just, I was just marveling uh, at something that I think I was, I, think I was wrong. P- please continue. All good. Um. So Edward will be at a, a minus five to this first charge roll. <coughs> oh. Yeah. That's not Ow. good. Yeah. Now there are other things, so we're, we'll deal with those first. So, the general <laughs> breakdown of uh, the this battle system not too complicated for the first charge. Before the first charge, um, I'm going to go ahead and make a general's roll for both sides. Diamond-backed cheese? Drive them into the seas. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was confused about that. <laughs> I heard capture all of their sheaths. No, but they're the ones raiding us. We don't, um... Yeah. Maybe it was that. No, no, I, I think drive them into the sea sounds more right. Yes, yes. Because they're from an island, aren't they? They're from Ireland. Well, it seems like it would be... It seems like it would be worth it for them to just stay over there. I mean... Yes. They've come a long way for this. <laughs> really, I'm not sure what the fuss is about. They leave us alone, we'll leave them alone. But apparently... Well, I mean... I, I, I doubt that we'll leave them alone forever, but still, like, you know. Oh! Ha ha! Nice, Take nice, that. nice look in there, yeah. Uther. Yeah, good work. So, uh, Uther takes command here. Um... I can hear him a little better now, for some reason. <laughs> Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so things are working out in Uther's uh, favor as far as uh, the initial sort of uh, setup of, of the, the fight. Um, now we're going to go to the the fun part, which is the first charge. You oh, can, God. You Ooh. can sense the just the intensity of everyone around you. Um, as the moment draws closer to begin this charge, uh, all the conversations go more quiet. There's a lot of people sort of trying to rally themselves or the folks around them uh, into readiness. Um, this is both a gr- one of the greatest opportunities a knight can have and one of the da- most dangerous moments that they can experience. So we're gonna go ahead and make our first charge rolls. Um, is there anything? The let's maybe right. send the camera down to the three of you in that awkward, sort of um, intense moment. Uh, what are what are the three you doing? Uh, sword, uh, not drawn. He has his lance, uh, mm-hmm. and he's just under his breath, uh, offering a prayer, but not to the Lord. Spirits of land and sea, give me the strength to spill blood in your name. Uh, Edward himself is kind of fixing his helmet and uttering a, a silent prayer, or a quiet prayer up to the heavens and God and the angels, uh, praying for safe passage and um, uh, luck in battle and uh, praying to not die. It's, yeah, that's pretty much it. And Dallin? Dallin is also going to pray, but they're not 
just they're not just praying not to die, but they're praying very specifically to not have to leave anybody behind. Uh, mm. Specifically talking about home, though, not about you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> All right. With that, the horn blows, and the charge begins. There is a sea of, of Irish, um, but they are predominantly, almost exclusively footmen. Um, though those who aren't are around the king and passion himself. Um, so the bonus with this, the good thing is, charging against footmen is advantageous. Um, all of you are going to go ahead and give me a um, a test with your lance or spear. Uh, you can get a plus five to this roll. Um, but Hell yeah. Let me let me stop yeah. before any of you roll. There is one okay. thing I want to offer you, and that is uh, invoking your passion. If this is a very big moment for you, you care, mm -hmm. you can you can risk the potential of uh, of um, a very bad thing happening, and uh, you can you can choose to um, roll your passion. Interesting. Is that in addition I, or instead? Uh, so if you roll your passion and you're successful, what that means is a plus ten to your to your roll. Um, Interesting. If we you know go what? over if we go over twenty, how do we get a critical? Um, so if you go um, if you go over twenty, um, sorry, I knew this. Uh, I knew this, but I haven't actually played with this yet, so I haven't <laughs> had the opportunity. Um, okay. I think I'm trying to remember. I think it turns like um, oh, that's what it does. It gives you a bonus of the number you're at. So if you're at like a 24, then you would get a plus four to whatever you roll. So still a 20 and above would be like a critical. Oh, gotcha, <clears throat> yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So okay. a six, so then a 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 roll would be a, would be a, a... Mm. Cool. And can I, we okay. choose, can we choose which passion to invoke if it's appropriate? Yes, absolutely. Uh, usually okay. you, you'd run it by me before you roll, kind of explain what you're doing narratively or why it's meaningful, because, because that can say that doesn't make sense, but typically it's... Yeah, kind of yeah, sense. yeah. And like it's you're probably probably not gonna probably not gonna be able to swing hospitality on this one, but I might be able to convince Show you that it's. Warm welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, Dallin would like to invoke the passion of hos of not hospitality of love family for this one specifically, yep. given her prayer and what she's or what he's thinking about when he's going onto the field like this. Okay. Absolutely. I would like to do much the same, invoking my love of family and my house in the name of my uncle who has died. Uh, and in the name of uh, just uh, proliferating the family, keeping it going, because currently there are four living members, of which I am one. Um, <laughs> Dude, we same. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we need to. We we yeah. We really need to up our marriage game. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd like to try and uh, uh, try and keep the love of the De Winterborn Stokes in mind uh, and uh, transfer that into a, a good stab. Right. Gotta keep me alive is what it Think needs to do. Hedward is going to do something different as he is going to call on his loyalty to his lord. Mm. Uh, in a way, uh, as he feels the fear begin to, to bubble up in his chest, that he just kind of closes his eyes and pushes it down, remembering the oath he swore as a knight to always honor and fight for his lord, and using that to kind of override his fear and inspire him further in battle. Excellent. Okay, so before anyone rolls, I, I wanted to make sure I give the risk here. The okay. risk of so, if, I would recommend for for starting this sort of thing, um, you're in a better position. If you succeed, it's plus ten. If you fail, mm -hmm. it's minus five. If you crit fail, if you fumble, that is really bad. Mm -hmm. That sends you into. A scenario where your character is effectively lost, like you probably would leave the battlefield in an unceremonious way, mm -hmm. almost Very being risky. a deserter equivalent. In this Indeed. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I okay. 
I understand that, and I still think Dallin's gonna do it just based on, you know, his whole situation. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna be honest, with that plus five from the other thing, or from the horseback, uh, I'm gonna be rolling, uh, I gotta get under a 20. But, uh, <laughs> I still think, I still think Dallin's gonna go for the bonus here. All right. I myself am less good with my lance than I am with my sword. Um, numbers wise, it would be wiser for me to just uh, go with the flat roll. However, I also think that uh, he wants to make his family proud, and if he does crit fail, which would be funny as hell, um, <laughs> it would be it would be a, a good moment of growth for him, or rather, like withering, uh, leaving room for, for positive growth later. Okay. It, yeah. it would be a great if we all crit fail and we just play the rest. Yes. Uh, you all this just exactly. From the hill. Might have given up. From the hill yes. a mile away. Lovely. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Turn the end of the story a bit. Um, yeah. yeah. You, uh, do you guys want me to go first? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Here we go. Whoa. Let's see uh, what we got. Yeah! Hey! Nice. Right, good on you. I am not fucking gone. I'm here. I'm not deserting. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, shall I go now? Yep, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let us hope the same can be said of me. Oh. It can. Yeah! yeah. Alright, All that's right. that's two out of three. <laughs> we now. can't do Mark. I hear that hey, yeah. really... I Mark has had bad luck with yeah. the dice, so I'm not feeling yes. this one. Uh, yeah. I hear so that uh, that three is a famously goodbye. very lucky number. Yeah. I hope so. I, I do wish I could roll my hatred of Saxons in this, but I didn't think it would be <laughs> They're Irish. relevant. Well, hold on. Uh, you know what's... There is passion. Oh, you a crit! Crit! Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, um, That's even bigger. Um, yeah. Nice. I actually have not encountered that, so I'm not even sure what the hell that does. Man. I love Uther I so do... fucking much, goddammit! Do you want me to... do you want me to check A king and country! Yeah, please, <laughs> please, please check. Um, I'm gonna see if I can dig up the... Um, I, I was planning to use the next edition. I, I guess the sixth edi uh, edition ones are better, but... Um, we can I, use I'm fifth sorry. for now. No one failed, so fifth is fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, a critical success on a trait or passion roll works in a similar ways to skills, giving increased benefits and an experience check. A critical trait also indicates extreme, perhaps fanatical, behavior in accordance with the trait in, uh, or passion in question. Okay. You, you know what I'm going to do for this case, Mark? I'm going to get rid of your, your mm -hmm. minus five. So you're not only going to get the plus ten, but you're also going to lose the minus five. And you can go ahead and check um, loyalty lord. And you can remove cowardly. Hey! The the Hell, yeah. cowardly. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Redemption. All right. Am I rolling lance? Yeah. So are all of lance? you are going to roll. Yep. Make sure you include the factor in the bonus, which I think that dice yep. was. Yeah. Yeah. Think... It does die mod. Modify. So... I think we're all getting mm. plus fifteen now. A plus. Yeah. Yes. Plus fifteen total. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Did I did I get A critical. it? Critical. <laughs> Good work. Yeah, you got it. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a radio success. <laughs> that's oh, yeah, well. regular Damn. success, but still very good. Oh man, yeah. this Vanguard thing's working out great so far. <laughs> yeah, it's great. What's great is that if we didn't do that, that would have been a fucking <laughs> fumble. Yes, <laughs> that would have been really that bad. Would have been a fumble for me. <laughs> it would have been fine for Dallin though. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, oh. So so let me just ask this: Are are the three of you intending to try and stay together in the fight? Just like stay with those you trust? No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Salisbury brothers. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Stonehenge brothers. That is not what we're calling ourselves. <laughs> All right. Uh. So. Frost before horses. Um. So Dallin. <laughs> um. Dallin, um, Edward, and Gortrix, predominantly Gortrix and, and Dallin, um, end up, um, all, all three of you end up pushing, like, right through at the front of the vanguard. Um, because two of you 
crit critted, which is pretty impressive. And natural, like natural crit too, which yeah. I'm going to count as something mm. special when I can. Um, for that, I'm going to give um, both, both Dallin and, and um, Gortrix can, can check their, uh, not land, yeah, check their lands mm. on this. Check your lands. That's that's the bonus you get for critting, and then um, you know what? I'm gonna pass this around. I, I like the idea of you guys describing narratively like what your character's doing in this moment. This is a strong push and success, so you're you're basically trampling over these knights and you know that sort of thing. But I'll let you each provide your own narrative edge to your character here. Well, I imagine it's like. Uh, like if you guys play Total War, it'll be like a cavalry charge into yeah, the thing. Um, we just, mm. in a strong wedge, just shove our way in, lances sticking through people, perhaps two at a time until the momentum slows. Mm. Um, we we break not only bodies but morale in like the area yeah. around us because that's what a good cavalry charge does. And then with swords, we just hack. <laughs> yeah, indeed. It will I get to that. Just Yes. I imagine, though, it's just the sound of of bone and flesh against who, the sound of um, steel tips piercing through uh, shields and armor, just completely wrecking them. Yeah, yells and screams of pain and mm. of fury, just uh, only barely hearable are the orders or the uh, the cries of other people around us. There's a the winter born stock from, like, a... Uh, 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 a good portion of where some of the screaming is coming from. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, Liam. Uh, Dallin does much of the same. There's only so many times you can skewer a skewer a man. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. you know, it, it's 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 very much the same thing. I'll 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 just add that uh, you know uh, there's there's like right when the line like breaks and the, 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 the tip of the charge bursts in. Dallin manages to catch a dude right in the head with the with the uh, with the um, with the lance and it, it doesn't pierce but you hear the neck snap and they fall back and Dallin is suddenly just like yelling just really loud. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh poor Dallin, but yeah. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to round two here. Um, which is what you're going to encounter. Easiest vanguard I've ever seen. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we're great. Much Edwards what in Edwards' head. We might not die tonight. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't as bad as I expected. No one stabbed me yet. Yeah, this, yeah. this is a very impressive <laughs> start, to say the least. Uh, with all of you staying together, I need one of you to give me a why don't, why don't you as a group choose who's going to roll, and then I need one of you to give me a d20. Just a general uh, d20? Um, and actually, you can modify the d20, because we, you guys critted and did what you did. You can go ahead and give me a d20 um, plus 5. Cool. Mm -hmm. Unless you, um, uh, sorry, I should specify. Or minus 5, depending on whether you as a group are choosing to um, choosing to stry, try to stay out of harm's way or your glory seeking as a group? I I think we should glory seek. <laughs> I also Why think... Why not? Like, yeah. 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 I mean, normally... We seriously be, don't want to die, but... Yeah. I'd say normally Dallin would be yeah. all for the just stay alive, keep afloat thing, yeah. but considering the, 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 the Matic stuff last night and how exactly. just really well that yeah. charge went... Let's mm. let's play fast and loose, baby. <laughs> let's yeah. do it. Oh, and um, we're gonna play with this fire as long as we can avoid getting burned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Uh, do we know what roll we're making, or is it just a d20? Um, so if you're glory seeking, it's a d20. Add five to it. It's not a it's not a test. It's kind of like a random table. Gotcha. Gotcha. And okay. just pick one person to roll for the group. You wanna you wanna do it, Mark? I feel like you need some more dice, love. All right, exactly. we'll do it. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, D20 plus 5. 
14. All right. 14. That's with the plus five. All right. Uh, so this round, um, you are still all on horse unless you choose not to be. Um, you find yourselves um, in front of foot soldiers, basically the foot soldiers that have, are, are uh, right in front of where you've managed to push to at this point um, through the battle. Um, these are, are foot soldiers that are nearing sort of the, you're still at the front, you're still in the vanguard at this point. Uh, so definitely glory bound. Um, these foot soldiers are not slouches. Um, yeah, so we'll start there. I'm just going to prep these foot soldiers for you guys. Awesome. Uh, they, these foot soldiers have swords. Gotcha. Let me just, just gonna give us some visual stuff here. While you're doing that, could I quickly I... take a minute? I'm very sorry. I just need to go and uh, do a thing real quick. Yep, I'll absolutely. be right back. You are so sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna refill my water then real fast too. <laughs> I do want to ask quickly: yep. Would our lances have broken off in the charge? Because I know sometimes it can be a bit flimsy. No, these um, typically are more like a spear. For so, okay. tourney lances are not typically used in, in the battlefield. Yeah. Mm. Um, so in this case, they're they're less likely to break. Mm. And, and um, in the case of your, uh, is, are these ones fully made of metal or is it? Wood with the tip of metal. Wood with the tip is metal, basically. They, they'd be closer to like a great spear, though. Like they're, you know, more like mm, a full arm yeah. than they are a little tiny spear. Just, just makes... by the nature of what they do. Okay. So the advantage, you still get the advantage to fighting on horseback if you choose to. Um, that is a big advantage when your opponent is not a knight and your opponent is on foot. Yeah. So with your your bonus, the, the where things have really gone well for you guys is you all succeeded at your passions and no one like fumbled on the the initial piece. That gives you guys a huge <laughs> um, leg up here. Also, I'm, Uther was managed to beat Gilmanius, which is a big advantage. As well. so I'm back Woo! today, Thomas. Suck it. <laughs> uh, Thomas, not back yet. Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, He'll be back soon. Did, I missed the verdict. Do uh, did our lances break, or we still got them? We still no, got them. No, uh, I was describing it as a bit more like a, a long spear than a, yeah, 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 yeah. And turning lances are designed to be less. Yeah, just, just snap. We're doing okay. some. We're doing some stabbing then. Good. Yeah. Good. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um. Oh, perfect timing. Hi. Hello. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I'm just going to pull this up myself here. All right. So, um, you folks, basically the way this is going to work is you all have an opponent. Um, the mm -hmm. reason why we're zooming in on this, mm -hmm. so this is like, it says 30 minutes of time, but rather than focusing on the time duration, it's like you spend a great amount of time after the charge. This isn't immediately after, this is like after you've been fighting for a while. This right. is the situation you guys are now in. Um, if you want to change, if you want to stay on on um, horseback, you actually do have a big advantage against footmen, right? Um, especially non-knight footmen. So that is an option. If you feel more comfortable with your sword, you can of course dismount and, and fight. Um, on foot, but th this is uh, a scenario each of you have encountered where you are almost squared off with with a, an opposing force of sort of equal um, gusto as you, and, and this is a bit more like a three on three skirmish. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've I've um, listed you three versus the three swordsmen, um, and now we're going to just describe what you folks do. Uh, I'm not too worried about um, initiative at this point because this is pretty straightforward. Uh, all I need to know is you you folks as a team will be um, choosing what you're doing. Um, there, cool. there are three targets. Uh, the obvious thing would be to attack the target in front of you, but I'll leave you 
the option of, of deviating from that plan if you wish. Ganging up is tactically sound. It probably isn't chivalrous. Mm, no. And it depends on... I would agree with that, like, from an ideology perspective, right? Ideological perspective. But this is war. This yeah. is war. Yeah, this is, this is war. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it. I think from a strategic point, like we're not fighting against actual knights. We're just fighting against foot soldiers with swords. Yeah. Well trained ones, but we're probably better trained in honesty. Yeah. I think it's I'm, likely we could take them on on our own. Yeah, I'm fine with each of us taking out our things, but the moment like any of you like in character ask for assistance, Gortrix is going to go yes. yes. All right. All right. Well. We've got lots of rounds of battle to walk through, so let's uh, let's go ahead and choose your... Let me know if you're staying mounted. Is anyone not staying mounted? Let's get fighting. Uh, uh, we get a... We get a plus five, right? Before mounted? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It doesn't I... matter for me then. So I'll stay mounted. Gortrix, yeah, Gortrix is going to... He's going to stay mounted. If you weren't in the middle of a battle, he would probably get off and try and fight in a in a fairer sense, but if he gets dismounted, then uh, other people can crowd in much more easily. Yeah. Um, uh, Dallin is really good at anything, so uh, I am, I'm cool staying mounted. Okay. All right, so in that case, um, why don't you, all three of you, give me, uh, if you're staying mounted, you can give me your attack roll with your, your, uh, Lance, Lance, your Lance spear. time. Yeah. And oh, you still uh, have I, your passions. Uh, You're still in passion. Gotcha. Oh, oh, oh we still, still get a plus. Yeah. Still get, still get the plus. Is that for the whole battle? Yeah, so that's the advantage of Yo. Yeah. Oh, All shit. Right. Damn. Yeah, that was. Uh, I did not know that. I thought it was for the uh, <laughs> yeah. role only. That's good yeah. to know. There, There's big disadvantages to losing it, but uh, yeah, you guys are supposed to be Knights of Legends. And free, so. Yeah. Right. Oh, hey, another crit. <laughs> hey, nice. Hey. All right. Um, so did you factor in the, did all three of you factor in your, your impassion and your plus five for being? Yes, sir. Uh, I, in, I didn't put I... in my additional plus five. I just put in a plus 10. Okay. I put in plus 15, but I don't know if it automatically calculates it all. It does. It looks like it's it does. Okay, then yeah. yeah. All right, all good. To some degree, it, it seems to leave it at 20, which is kind of annoying because yeah. it doesn't tell us when that happened. Um, but, yeah. so Wait, does that mean we add five to this? Cause you it's... add five to your roll, yeah. So you... Oh, um, it's 20. Oh, that, uh, that's why no, it's doing it. So um, did it do that on Mac? Let me check. I don't know. That's the question. No, you rolled... Uh... Oh, wait, hang on. 10 plus 15 would be 25. So no, it didn't. Uh, didn't fact yeah no it didn't so yeah that would be a, a 20 then All if right. you had 5 and mine would be a 15 okay so um, Dallin and um, Edward both crit uh, and huh? Thomas you crit or you succeed as well uh, so yep. um, yeah you could roll your appropriate damage for that all three of you. All right. And now, if we're on a horse, we can roll the charges, which is a 66. However, that's my regular damage dice, so I'm just going to roll my regular damage dice. I'm going to roll 66. All right. Um, Mark, you have a crit damage, right? Let me sure you factor that in. Oh, right. What does crit do in damage? Um, I want to say it doubles, but um, I can't remember if it doubles dice or doubles damage. Yeah, it's significant. Uh, let me... Yeah, let me quickly check. Uh, in combat, cool. it inflicts double damage. You roll the normal number of dice okay. and double the results. Gotcha. Double the results. Okay. So just the damage, right. just the damage button, then, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Unless there's a. Uh, or button. you can roll your horses. Yeah. Yeah, you oh. can you can opt to roll your horse damage. Instead. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Sixty-six. Good charger. Nineteen doubled. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That guy, I don't think that guy's having a good day. 13 double. Oh. That's uh, 26. 26, yeah. So. He has a lance where his head used to be. Uh, Again. 
Yeah. Two dead zoo guys for sure. Thomas, you got, He's got a stick like figure. Damage. Um, this guy's standing in the road like a steamroller's coming at him and he's in an Austin Powers movie. He's just like, <laughs> stop! <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I Thomas, so think... your your soldier has to contest you. Actually, they, all three of them do. I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, so this will be, the first roll will be against Thomas. For the mm -hmm. second roll will be against, um, against Mark. The third roll will be against Liam. Okay, so the good news is none of them beat you. <laughs> because if they beat you... Damn close, though. Yeah. Well, close... Clo Actually, what's their... What's their... Their DC? Yeah, they're they're not going to... Um, yeah, I don't think they could beat the 20s. No. <laughs> um, Unless so they crit. I'm telling you, it's... it's he has a 16 his hand out. in sword, so... Uh, the third guy just flat out fails, which means he doesn't get to use his armor, or his shield, oh. I mean, against you. So so he oh. especially dies. Um, Mark, yeah! Uh, <laughs> Mark, um, you, uh, you, you, Edward's able to kill his opponent quite, mm. quite swiftly. But I think we're going to see a survivor here, just yeah. checking. Uh, I'm pretty because sure he... shield plus chainmail uh, blocks blocks mm. 15 damage. Uh, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, in uh, in Gortrex's case, um, you 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 uh, managed to clink off off of his shield uh, as you bear down in with, with your uh, spear. Oh. My momentum stopped. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to go uh, Gortrix. Sorry, I, I should ask. So, Edward and Dallin, do you want to describe anything particular note about uh, your outcomes here? I think this uh... I don't know. I'll do a cool, like, little, little f faint that ends up resulting in the man skewered. <laughs> he tries to put up his shield in the wrong fucking direction and gets gets got real bad. I think I think Edward just charges down this guy, and as he puts his shield up to kind of block the strike, uh, the tip of the um, of the lance hits the hits the shield, causing it to smack him in the face. Falls over, and he's just trampled over by the boss. Oh, these poor guys. Yeah, not having a good time. Just, just pretend they're Saxons, and your, 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 your remorse for them will go away. <laughs> yeah. later. On unless cars. Okay. Um, so, we're, what the scenario we have right now is we have two gone. Uh, Gortrex still has one in front of him. Um, the question is: Is are Dallin or Edward going to leave Gortrex? to continue his one-on-one -on -one with this guy? Or you I done? think there would be a, a brief moment in the battle where Edward would kind of like uh, lift up the front part of his helm to look over to Gortrex as like a kind of a, in the chaos being like, do you want assistance or have you got this? Uh, I, I know Dallin's not even going to ask. Dallin's just going to yeah. kind of like make sure that uh, Gortrex is covered but not not step in. This is nice thing. Being, okay. Yeah. I've got this. Fight on! Right. Edward then puts down his helmet and rides off to start the battle, but would stay near the two, uh, just in case. Yeah, fighting fighting the men around yeah. these guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Gortrix, you can go ahead and roll your next round. Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, drop my lance and draw my swords. Okay. Uh, it would be more advantageous to do uh, lance with the bonuses that I've got, but my sword is better overall, and uh, if I have to do lance, then I'd have to like keep on going around the battlefield. Roger that. Uh, thematically, sword seems to fit. Liam, uh, can I get right. you to test just while we're doing this? The stream is sure. active and, and going. <laughs> yep, I've, I've had it up this whole time. It's It's looking great, sounding great. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Uh, 
with the sword, do I still get a plus five for fighting unarmed, uh, sorry, unhorsed opponents? Uh, I don't see why not. I know you can't charge with a sword, but I'm assuming you could very easily use a sword while mounted still. So. Yeah, I have the mm. high ground. Yeah. Yeah. But do I underestimate their power? Uh, I'm going to make the sword roll. And he gets the slice. Okay. Well, mm. not necessarily. So this guy has yeah. to test yeah. under his. And he does not get the slice, uh, maybe. But, <laughs> but does that that doesn't count your bonus, right? It wouldn't. Uh, count. If you have a bonus over twenty or your DC. Uh, no, I I hit twenty. I've got a fifteen, and I've got a plus five. Oh, all right. Yeah. Right, but your Ooh, roll would be plus roll, five. Right? Um. So you got to no is. No, no, I was on 15, and then I got a plus 5, which brings it up to 20. And then so what about your plus 10? Oh, but you also got your Valor, or your, your I think passion. that was just the Lance. No, no dude, no. it's no, the, whole the whole battle. battle. Yeah, you're in oh. fight for the love of your family, my dude. Yeah. 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 I'm so sorry, I'm so <laughs> no, sorry. In that okay. case, I should have fought to, I should have fought to sword ages ago. Um, <laughs> so what's your... that is, uh, <laughs> that's a plus 10. Yeah, plus 10, so 12. Then. Okay, yeah. that's, that's better. So basically, you don't want him to roll between a 13 and a 16. Mm. Watch him get a 16. Oh! So this is a yeah. great example. So 12 versus 11, it means that you get to roll uh, your damage as normal, but he gets to apply his shield because he did succeed. Mm. Alrighty, let's do it. Oh, 19. I'm getting poor damage rolls. Yeah, mm. for sure. But 19, mm. I think some of that will come over. Um, mm. What's the... Shield is 6, and Chainmail is 10? Shield is 6, and Chainmail is 12. 12. Um, so, one so bleed one over. over. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. bleed over. All right, uh, we can we can uh, go into the next uh, round with you here. Uh, Indeed. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, no, no, I'll, this, I'll is, this is no, no, no. this is Look. part of it. Yeah, you're, it's traumatic. <laughs> Look, yep. you're, we're gonna put your glory right up on the fridge, little man. We got you. It's okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The the next round. Basically, this opponent is proving to be quite skilled, at least skilled enough, um, and you don't doubt it because you're nearing the place where there are knights. You guys have pushed that far through. So. Hey, maybe we will actually get to. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah. after after you make this check, I'm gonna see yeah. if I can try to spot any uh, notable banners. Mm. Go ahead and uh, test oh. your your next round of sword. Okay. All right, and this time if I we, will roll properly. If we can kill Vortigan some, that's gonna be a lot of glory. I was thinking about that. I'm like, mm, that's, uh, that's 25, 30. Yeah, uh, that is yes, a 25. Let's maybe mm. get a little greedy here. So 25 yeah. is crit, so you will get double damage this time. Uh, but he does succeed. Fuck him up! He will, he will soak 16 of Let's see what you do. Alrighty. Let's do it. Where's damage? Here's damage. Roll well. Roll well. Uh, that's Whoa. 50 damage? 50. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think his head's gone. I think that's what we're going to do. Yep. 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 Yep, you are that'd, using that'd a sword. Yeah. Yep. Just bleed right off his body. And Gortrix is a big guy, as is, right? Yeah. Uh, Gortrix is like a little under mountain that rides level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dallin will kind of kind of ride past and be like, You all right there, Gortrix? Yes, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, despite the, uh, the, the valor of the moment that he was feeling like behind the battle, uh, or rather, before the battle begins, like now he's got like blood on his face. But yeah, I'm, big, big I'm good. Disgrace. I'm, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I was gonna go there. Uh, he's, yeah, <laughs> kicking, kicking heads all over the place. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, let's um, yeah, let's let's keep going. You think okay. you're gonna stay on your feet there, fine friend? I'm on a horse. I, oh. I should be fine. Good. I saw the sword <laughs> roll, rolls, and I assumed. I'm All right. still on a horn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, folks, uh, so are we continuing to glory seek? Uh, Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, 
Yeah. I have a we, question. We may be flying too close <laughs> to the sun. Oh, yep, yeah. Yeah, but before I commit to one way or the other here, um, is uh, there any way to look and see if the, the Irish have got any notable banners kind of near us right now? Uh, yeah. You can go ahead and test awareness for me. I'm decent at that. Uh, actually, sorry. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to... Are you looking Probably. for a notable banner or a particular notable banner? Oh, that's interesting. Like, do you want to recognize? Because one's heraldry and the other is just noticing. Oh, I'm not... Um, How about this? If you want to do a notice roll, I can do a heraldry roll. I was just, roll. I was just about to six, uh, suggest yeah. that. Cause I'm, I'm better at awareness. Yeah, so. so why don't you test awareness? If you succeed and you spot something, you know that Edward has shown on screen uh, familiarity with that. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a no for me, dog. Oh. Wait, do we still have the uh, impassions? Does that count towards this? Yeah. Does that count towards this? It, it does count scenes. towards this. Yeah, it's significant. Oh. Oh. In that case, uh, can can I make that roll as well for awareness? Uh, no. In this particular case, it, yeah, it, yeah. Yeah. it won't be for Equal everybody for in this case. Um, we're gonna go, so you're just short of... Or wait, no, that would have been plus 10. Yeah, um, it's so past, which that would have been gotten uh, you a twenty. Yeah, he would have gotten it. Yeah, so yeah. you Fortunate. you do you notice um you notice an actually uh, uh um what's clearly mounted figures uh, and you see some um, larger men with great spears sort of guarding them standing around. Them. You see their oh. banners. Those are those are going to be dangerous. Do you want me to make the hero free roll? Uh, does. Does Dallin point this out to the folks? Absolutely. Dallin's going to be trying to communicate as much as possible with, 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 with their crew here. Okay. Make sure that everybody knows what's going on. Mm. Either approach that area or stay the hell away from it, but either one, be aware of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and get some heraldry testing here. All right. You guys are supercharged. Plus and all 10. Happy. Oh, oh, so close to a crit. So oh. it's no, no, it, it would Actually, no, it is a crit, because I got yeah. plus three. Yeah. 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 Um, That's a crit. So that is uh, Passion. That is Banners of Vortigern's youngest son. Ah! Uh, yeah. We have reached uh, it almost. In his retinue. Mm. Yeah. How's our... Um, uh, How's our how's our little Vanguard unit doing? Are they holding up as well as we are? Uh, it's it's a mixed bag. There's certainly some overwhelming. You've watched some of your brothers in arm fall, uh, in, you know, by this point in the, in the fight. But um, and things are still too Question. too early to to be able to tell right. like, the total outcome. Mm. Um, but overall, it's pretty stalemated right now. Like your knights are certainly. Um, mm -hmm. carving down many of these foot soldiers and y you carved out uh, actually here's a question for you folks oh. did you show any mercy to those soldiers that had shovels and hoes pick pitchforks as much as Gortrix could he did okay. he would prefer to like spear the ones who had spears and uh, the ones we were fighting were men at arms. They knew how to fight, and they did yeah. it pretty okay. Uh, if someone was like coming at uh, Goratrix with a shovel and the intent to kill, sure. But if he were just like standing there, he wouldn't like seek them out and hit them from behind. You know. Okay. Yeah. I think I've Edward got... is very much. Yeah. He'd only do it if they actually came after us. Exactly. Otherwise, he'd just kind of try and. Being a man on a fucking horse, <laughs> so, <laughs> you're not winning this fight. Yeah, so I'm looking at looking at my merciful and cruel, and they're both pretty even, as a dead even. So I I think honestly, Dallin, like they're out on the field, they're fighting. They could regroup and start what? fighting our own guys. Why don't Actually, you, why don't you test merciful just... and cruel for me? Real quick, down. Roll them both. Yeah, this could be a moment. Probably isn't a moment. It, yeah, it could go either way, really. For for Dallin, at least, like it, it might be worth it to just take him, like get rid of as many enemies as possible, or it might be a thing of like, well, these people were definitely drafted. Like, <laughs> okay. Mm, yeah. They're not having a great time. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Success both, both successes. Out. 
Success mm. with both. It, it basically comes down to, I think what we learn about Dallin here is just when it comes to, there, there's a somewhat sense of being, you know, merciful. But when it comes down to surviving and it's you versus them, there's this, this small moment where you aren't cruel with it, but you certainly, uh, um, yeah, we'll say there, there's one particular guy, um, just the look on his face, it's like he reminds you of one of the, the peasants near Durnford. And as you're about to ride past him, just like moving on to the next guy, he just about gets you uh, with his pitchfork and you actually have to turn and, and cut him down. Yeah, I think the lesson Dallin's learning from this is uh, they picked up weapons, they're here. Yeah. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. that's all there is to it. Yeah. 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 Cool. I won't give you checks either way. It's just kind of... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I get you, I get you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. All right. Oh, uh, Mark, you had a question. Yeah. Good point. Did I? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was. Yes, you um, said something, could we, and then... <laughs> we got we, we got yeah, yeah distracted by murder right uh if you don't i, I don't remember it sorry was it something about the the state of our troop oh to, like... yes i remember what it was it was mostly of a like can we tell uh like are we the only three that are fighting someone like now that we have this no. time to talk no it's like a sea of Sea of battle here. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're, All we're right. In the middle cool. of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have a small okay. lull, basically, where where you cleared out. Mm. You know. Uh, so well, I think first of all, Edward would point out and say, uh, uh, "Up there, that's uh, what is his name? Pa Passant? Passant. Passant. Where's Passion's vanguard? That Passion's guard. I recognize the uh, the heraldry." It's definitely Gorgon's son. Should we try and move towards them? Rally and push? Certainly do us well, and may indeed earn us much, much glory. <clears throat> it does certainly seem like God is with us this day. Alrighty then. For king and country. Stay <laughs> strong, men. Okay, so who's rolling this time? On the uh, that's an excellent question. Um... Before uh, we do you want to have a go for a trick? Yeah, let's say actually let's go with let's go with Dalen because yeah? uh, as okay. well as you, uh, he got he got a good number of crits. He's been he's been crushing it. He's noticed. <laughs> he's noticed. Um, no uh, let me ask something, Bob. Yeah. Uh, is there any? Is there any? Can I make a battle roll or something like that to try to rally our our vanguard and get him a little bit more focused? Is that something that that I can do, or is that more of like a like a? Eh, not really. <laughs> uh -huh. What? You know what? Why not? Yeah, I say. Why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> like you're, good... you're, you're impassioned. You're good with people. Yeah, it's it. it's uh, it'd be less from you having any sort of formal station or role over the top of them, and more from mm -hmm. like a brothers in arms kind of. Yeah, I'm not necessarily commanding them, but you know, we 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 we've been we've been doing pretty well out here, and we right. see a target, so let's try to focus people. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Okay. Um, and then that's still with my passion. Yes. Uh, yeah, you're still in passion. God, that's such, that's so good. I'm so happy you oh, did that. You gotta I'm do it at the so beginning of every battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah this so time. I can fail. promise you, if you do it at the yeah. beginning of every battle, there will be some where you become a yeah. deserter. Yeah. Exactly. There will be, <laughs> or you'll yeah, be rolling minus five for the entire Yeah, minus five for the entire scene. That's yeah. Uh, <laughs> 14 out of 20 success. Uh, okay. Yeah, so there, there is a... What's your battle skill, normal? Um, uh, my battle skill is 15. So, with the passion, passion 25. Okay, so you're just short That's of 19. Mm -hmm. um, it, there are a number uh, of folks around you um, that were also in the vanguard. Um, uh, one face in particular stands out. Give me a sec. Oh. Flamey Pants Boy? Who is it? It is. It is Flamey Pants Boy. Woo! Oh. Hell yeah. Who is a, also a very important mm -hmm. figure. Yes. Well, like a blaze he rode into battle. We'll forever know him. As he spills um, yeah. both blood and beer. 
Uh, Thomas, I'm having a brain blank for a minute. Can you tell me yeah. what I gave you for his name? Sir Belias. He flirts with oh. death like he encourages random strangers to flirt with women. <laughs> yeah. I... Yeah, I think it's, it's just Belias. I don't think he gave, um... A house name. No, no. Uh, he didn't have a first name. Alright, so Belias is, is present. Um, you... You know he wasn't in the, the first charge, but he's here now. Um, and uh, as you rally the men around you, uh, Sir Belias and, and some of his unit sort of reform, and um, Dallin... Uh, what, what does Dallin say here? Like, what? Let's, let's do that. Uh, Dallin, Dallin calls out. Oh. Lads! Look there! That's the son of a bitch who's got us out here! Let's form up and uh, fucking get him! <laughs> I lost that a little bit there at the end. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go. Uh, I think you can go ahead and make your roll plus five. Uh, which roll am I making? Uh, just a random d20 roll. And then oh, yeah, five. that's right. That's All right. right. Yeah. On um, roll high, roll high, roll high. Do we want to roll high? I mean, yeah. I, guess we <laughs> I think we do. Yeah. yeah like roll yeah, moderate. Do. Roll, roll. <laughs> middle of the. Roll. I, uh, no, yeah, I, you but rolled, see, yeah, no. Rolled, yeah, you rolled a d10. Not a I d10. did roll. Oh, a d10. that was a d10. <laughs> so I fucked that up a little bit there. <laughs> you got a really <laughs> good would, d10 score. Statistically, yeah. it would have been a twenty uh, or a nineteen. Or a nineteen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, up, hey. still pretty oh, good. Even right. better. Too. Okay, uh, you managed to fight your way into the elite guard. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're fighting. Uh, you're fighting <laughs> likely knights of their foot soldiers uh, who have great spears. Um, oh man! If we survive this, they're going to be telling stories about this for fucking centuries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I should know, um, can someone keep a tally of what you're, what you're fighting each round? So first first round is just the, the first charge. Uh, round two, the, the swordsman. Um, mm -hmm. And then I was gonna now do you're it. fighting Thomas a league. already on it. <laughs> I should have said, Thomas, can you? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's right. just I so think good. actually, He's so fast. Thanks, Liam. I think uh, before the chance, though, uh, Sir Edward is going to change to his sword because he is, in fact, way better at it. This yeah, game. exactly. Nice. Right. Now is the day we draw swords together. A question Are these guys on horseback? No, or they have foot no, soldiers. they they are foot soldiers with great spears. Um, this will cancel out the. Uh, they will cancel out your plus five to. Um, yeah. To the plus five because of the form. Glad I switched my sword. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, three of you, you can make your attack rolls. Alrighty. And you you are got... basically as you're charging in your. Now, um, just a note for the future, you can't charge with a sword. You can ride horseback with a sword, but the oh, act of charging, okay. like, you couldn't charge with a sword. Oh, okay. What's the difference between a charge and a regular... You, I think, and I could be wrong on this, um, but we'll use this for now, I don't think you can use your horse damage. Um, yes, that's right. exactly okay. true. With a that's charge, fair. you can and use also, your horse yeah. damage. Yeah, you also, like, in the first charge, or any... Any sort of thematic thing where you're charging, you wouldn't be able to. Use yeah, it. you couldn't use. Yeah, so. exactly. That That's why sense. I started with the lands. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Well, my 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 damage is uh, equal to a horse. I am as good at fighting as my horse. So you are my damage horse. is slightly worse. I did not write down my horse stats, so I'm assuming I'm better than my horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, that is a 19 for me. Crit. Oh, no, you got a crit. Yeah. Oh, I also. Ooh. I also did not add anything. Uh, oh, okay. 
So I, well, you have a plus ten. Yeah. Or uh, plus five. Good, you can. Yeah. Plus ten. Yes. So I got a six. Six out of twenty then. Nope. You got a. You got an eleven. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah. You you still get the plus ten from your being in passion, but you just lost the minus five from from having advantage on. Yeah. Them. So, so if I that had, would make it a twenty-five. That would yeah. So that I would yeah. Be a, would make it a I would be at six. Yeah. Six. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I'm. I'm off on it's, that. My mistake. I am so bad at math, Bob. It's okay. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> yeah. I'm also bad at math, but this is more just forgetting the, the way you do it. Um, yeah. It's not as good. So, 13 times 2. Well, one sec. You got to make sure you succeed. Oh, right. you, you will yeah. almost for certain. Actually, you will for hmm. sure. So, again, <laughs> it's Thomas Thomas first and um, Liam last as far as the, the counter rolls here to see what they're uh -huh. doing. And gotcha. let me check what their skills are, because they are worse than than what you fought last, for sure. Oh, really? These are more Jeez. dangerous. Yeah. The, they have uh, 21s. Worse for us. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that makes sense. Worse for us. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I should have specified. I thought, <laughs> I thought they were worse the for the I'm like, oh. wow, they... Really didn't expect it, us to yeah. get that far. Really oh, bad the, elite, the elite guard is just an 80-year-old man with a shovel. <laughs> Better than an 80-year-old man with a shotgun. I wouldn't put it past... Okay, so... Um, <laughs> so, you guys are, I think, super fortunate here. I think with the uh, exception uh, of Dallin, eh? Hey? Dallin isn't, I don't think. Ooh, Dallin's gonna oh. get hit. Dallin's um, gonna get hit? Oh, no. Mm. Yeah. Um... All right, so um, Mark, you can roll your crit damage. Thomas, you can roll your crit damage, and I will roll damage against. The... I think I just I get regular damage. damage. Yeah, sorry, you, uh, Thomas, you roll regular. Uh, damn, that's a good roll. Um, oh, twenty-six. Last thing that I want here. Good that's damage, man, Thomas. Thank you nearly rolled. Almost more damage than I did with a <laughs> just, <laughs> just for reference, yeah. Um, it's just, yeah, I. It's good that I'm getting good rolls for damage against these guys because I don't want them to survive for long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is one of those scenarios where the damage is not a roll. Thank, thank my dice for rolling shitty. Uh, yeah. You take no damage. Thank you, Bobby, guys. Clinks right off your, your shield. <laughs> yeah. Oh, as good. A, damage for me tip. is especially bad. I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. your shield. Um, and mm. then you just see... I don't think they have... I think they just have armor and they don't have a shield. Or they can't have a shield with that spear. Um, yeah, I think... Real, um, yeah. real quick, uh, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be reduced by 16, right? It would be reduced by 18. Oh, you're no, right. nope, you're totally right. Uh, nope, you're right. It's 16. Reinforced chainmail is 12. Yeah, mm. they, these folks don't have reinforced. They're um, yeah. yeah, they're slightly nice. slightly yeah. less. Um, either or, uh, Dallin would have yeah. been able to think the armor. So you're good there. Um, and then let me just see. I think uh, I think Dallin might be extremely religious after this fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were filled mm. with. However, uh, you did quite a few miraculous things, and you're 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 not getting damaged just yet. Oh, did you have to put the qualifier on it, Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> I I I'm not taking that. damage ever. I'm immortal. Yeah. I'll never die. <laughs> if you are the Green Knight. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yeah. Okay, so nine and ten. Um, so they're still standing. Um, your opponents mm -hmm. are still standing. So these are a different caliber, but you you managed to wound them both. Uh, and we'll go into the next round. They're still standing. Perhaps a little worse than they originally did. Oh, Looking like a yeah. survivor. That, that's not a small amount of damage, but not enough to yeah. knock them over and not enough to... Not enough to kill. Uh, We're nearly dead. Do, 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 do. All right. Hopefully not looking I'll, like I'll a little I'll get your next kid. round of damage all, or attacks. So all righty. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, that's a natural crit, and that goes ten over. Oh, sorry, five over. 
Oh, only a 19 for me. And we've swapped places. I hey, got a lad. natural crit too. <laughs> hey! Nice. Jeez, the crits, just, they, they, and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. <laughs> yeah. uh, Thomas, remember to tick your sword for that. Already? Uh, I shall, in fact. All right, and here's oh, the counter to... rolls. Wait, do we only tick if we... Only if you crit. Uh, get a, only, okay, if you only if you get a true or, crit. Or fumble, right? Only if you crit, um, or in cases where the GM tells you to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, we were to crit last time we critted, or was it because it wasn't a natural crit? Uh, use a lance last time. I think you already had lance ticked. I already also crit lance. my sword last time. Yeah, uh, he crit with a sword okay. last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, tick, tick your sword then. Okay, right. we'll go. Wasn't sure, appreciate it. All right, oh. so all, yeah, you, all three of you are going to get your attack. Uh, go ahead and nice. give your damage. Those who critted, make sure you... Um, Tell me your multiplied damage. Uh, 38 for me. 38. Yeah, that, so Thomas 30 his opponent. 30 exactly for me. 20 for me. 30 minutes. Let's see. Uh, Dallin. <laughs> Guys, we Dallin did not need to. Dallin his opponent onto the ground, but his opponent's still ah. alive. Uh, Guys, we did not have to go this hard. They're, they better be really appreciative. <laughs> yeah, I hope like we are the heroes like, of this. Yeah, I I hope like Maddox and Uther on like a hill or something going. <laughs> who are those? Who the, oh wait, I know those guys. What's going on over there? <laughs> They've tied up the like... king on a back of their horse and are riding around singing. Who are those knights? Imagining like. Those are my friends. <laughs> go, Irish boy, go. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Edward, you managed to uh, clink off off your opponent's armor again. Um, oh. He um, he's looking worse for wear. Like you're chipping him down. You've clearly got the advantage mm. here. Dallin, you you knock your opponent flat on the ground just from the sheer size of your blow. Um, but he's still alive, and he's kind of reaching for his spear, and he's going to try and uh, mount an attack from from being on the ground, which is going to give him a minus five on the next action. So, um, Gortrix, is there anything you're going to do, or are you going to leave these two to their their opponents? Yeah. Gortrix uh, has been trotting uh, around this guy, swinging with a sword, uh, but uh, just at the final moment, he's going to hold on for just one minute. And then as uh, the the enemy elite guard uh, gets his spear and goes for a thrust, uh, Gortrix uh, parries it off of his shield. And then uh, when he has a completely open avenue of attack, just stabs right into the throat uh, past the chain link mail. Excellent. And, and um, he pulls it out. So as we move into the next round of these these attacks here, um, is Gortrex going to let his, his allies do their thing? Finish off their one-on-ones? Uh, uh, he, uh, he will offer assistance. Are uh, you both well? Do you, need, uh, do you need anything? It looks like they certainly have their advantages. Like, just to note, mm. just visually, you can quickly assess. Yeah. Like, Down's got his on the ground, and Edward's yeah, the got ground. his, the other one's his, almost his chainmail's red <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Mm. I'll keep the others off of you. You need anything, just shout. Okay, noted. Dallin is very much shouting, but it does not seem like <laughs> yeah. they're able to interpret what you're saying right now. <laughs> yes. Um, all right, so next round of attacks for the two of you. Kingdom dead. Oh, so close to a crit. That's the, uh, that's yeah. the third time. Hey! Uh, oh, oh my nice. god! <laughs> I that, am on that, fire tonight. That are you guy sure it's not like, adding? Are you sure it's not adding the the, the ten automatically in there somehow? Right. Nope. <laughs> so a seven goodness. and a four. So the good news is, um, I'm I'm rolling very terribly. So. <laughs> I don't think I've ever Actually, rolled this well consistently in my I'm, life. <laughs> do you mind? I'm gonna make an example roll. I'm just gonna do like. Compose. I'm going to give myself a modifier of 100. 
if I get a 20, we know that it's adding to it. Because I'm pretty sure it's... I don't think it is. Wait, is it? Oh. Yep, statistically it seems to be. Never mind then. Uh, ah. That's a 14. It's just a shitty roll. Well, that's it's good to know. Where's the results? Roll 9, um, okay. But why is it not? Oh, 9 plus... Shouldn't have been... Yeah, 9 plus um, 5. Is that what's happening? Oh, okay. okay. I see what it is yeah. now. Okay, gotcha. so we can... Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, never mind. All good. All right. Uh, I've been rolling horribly then. Yep. Jesus. Something to learn yes. for next time. Yeah, yeah you, you have been rolling terribly. Uh, we need Liam's damage roll. Oh, yes. Uh, Bada bing. 44. 44. You still got Is the he dead? You got the spear? <laughs> I've got the lance, yeah. Yeah, the lance. So... Basically, yeah, he, I mean, it would be like a spear at this point, the way you're using it. So he's on the ground, he, he reaches for his great spear and then flips around very clearly intent on killing you, and you just put it right through his neck, and he just stops. <clears throat> well, this is going well. <laughs> and then, Edward, uh, you're still chipping away at your opponent. He has not hit you once, you've hit him three times. He's in real bad shape, but the last two hits you've done like very negligible damage. Yeah. So, so. Mm, I should note, actually, hold on. He's only getting his army, he didn't have a shield. So I might be doing this slightly wrong. Yeah, he would, um, you would, you would slay your opponent here too. Now I think about it, because the last oh, two attacks right, I, right, I accidentally yeah. included his, his shield. He does not have one. So. Oh, oh right, yeah. Yeah. Alright, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. cool. Yeah. So, uh, at this point, uh, how does Edward finish off his opponent? I think Edward coming up to it as the man prepares his uh, spear to the way of uh, Edward's uh, running towards him on his horse. Uh, Edward would just put his shield in the way, and as soon as the spear gets close to touching it, just knocks it with all of his strength. But at the same time, he pulls back his sword, moving past the, um, the soldier, and brings it down. Uh, as he just gallops past, probably cleaving his head off, awesome. or if not, badly severing it. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be using it. I would agree. Um, now we need one of those, you know, don't lose your head lines or something like that. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we're back to a point where you've managed to push away into the elite guard. Um, obviously. Pension and um, our passion, and uh, his guard have have cleared some way. Um, you see that you're fighting beside you. You've got uh, Sir Belias, uh, who's who's pushing the best of his ability, uh, trying to fight his way in as well. Um, all right. So with that, with that note, uh, what do the three you want to do? You're still glory seeking. Um, you want to fall back? I, yeah. I, yeah, feel I like, think. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I, we've gone this far. Yeah, yeah we've gone we, this far. Forward, and, yeah. and uh, well, Shabalias is watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so pick the one to roll and add a plus five. Shall 20, I? Uh, 20. You roll, Thomas. Yeah. The last oh, one too. Right. Go ahead. This fight is dragging on. Like, All right. In game, natural twenty. Oh, nice. Yeah. In game, this fight is dragging on for a very long time. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's pure adrenaline that we're probably running on by now, and also because oh, we yeah. haven't really been running. The horse, the horse has been doing a lot of the work. Yeah, you're like. A um, I imagine that our into... arms are just fucking yeah. tired as hell, they, they holding the heavy noodles. shield. Yeah, they will be noodles for the rest of uh, for the rest of the next couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, as you ready for um, to to near uh, uh, Passington and the remainder of his retinue, you actually find yourselves um, um, neck to neck with knights. We got three knights here this time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um. Are three. they, out of curiosity, better or worse than the, the elite guards? 
Um, we'll find out. That's true, yeah. I, I will tell you that by the nature of them having uh, shields, it comes down to okay. who's succeeding. And you would imagine, uh, in the case, I'm about to figure that out, actually. I'm going to make this interesting and not automatically uber, uber dangerous. But mm. dangerous stakes are high with any any glow seeking will, will raise like... the danger stakes. And realize yeah. I'm kind of like mm. adding my own L5R is <laughs> mass battle stuff into this accident. <laughs> that mm -hmm. I'm um, but whatever. Also, out of curiosity, are they on horseback? They are. These ones are. All right. All right. So if you're uh, on foot for this, you will be suffering. Um, well, you'll be suffering from them getting a bonus. You won't be suffering. Yeah. Them. Yeah. But we're 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 good for now. <laughs> I'm really stupid. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me just test my thing here. As a uh, Gortrix uh, pulls the sword out of the throat of the, uh, the elite guard uh, with his crit, uh, he looks towards uh, uh, Passion's retinue, goes, Ah! Keep pushing! Break this shameless pause! Um, you actually see Sir uh, Bellius um, is actually um, in one-on-one -on -one with Passion. At this point, is the three of you push your way into uh, into his immediate um, supporting knights. Uh, the men around you, some of your men falling to the, the elite guards with the, with the great spears. Alright, so uh, you're rolling. Just a reminder, these folks have shields. I've denoted that in there. I think they're also on horseback. Forgot to put a horse. Yep. Fancy horse picture on there. Um, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. What was that? What oh, I, I, I posted something in the chat. It's <laughs> not important. <laughs> gotcha. I would check, but it ruined the stream. I, um, I totally understand. Um, That'll be for later. <laughs> yeah, so let me know what you're using, <laughs> whether you're mounted, and, and go ahead and make your action. Gartrix right. is mounted, uh, Gartrix is sorting. Edward is also mounted, sword and shield. So, uh, let me ask you this, Bob. Uh, Lance doesn't necessarily... If I've got the same rank in sword and Lance, it's basically it's basically just a coin toss right now, right? Neither's going to give me any specific bonus. Well, if you use the Lance, you get your horse's damage, you which can is 66. Damage, yeah. I can take yeah. my horse's damage. Yeah. Though I do not have my horse written down right now, so the it's, horse is a it's charger. 66. Yeah, the a horse charger. is a charger and would have the 66. Oh, so, so it's, six, eight it's 66 in general then. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because of the nature of horses. Horse. 66 nice. is nice. That's a lot. That's. I should yeah, probably. I should You're both oh, mounted. 66. Yeah. 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 It's, that is it's that hard. is yeah. better than what I've got. So I should yeah. I should be using the lance. It's possible to get a 66 if you crit with a 66. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, within, within the bounds of possibility. Yeah. All right. Uh, I did not do too well. It's a 16 for me. Duh. Duh. <laughs> we want to roll, roll low generally, but when yeah. we get to this level... Oh, yeah, we, want, we want more. Mm. So I did straight up roll a one there, and it, it did add the extra layover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> All right. Let's see how the opponents test. They're going to hit me again. <laughs> oh, mine hits me. No! Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he beat Holy me, shit. though. Yeah, my guy beat I'm me. I'm sticking with Dallin's Immortal. Mm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. So yep. Dallin, you can you can test damage normally. Uh, in this case, both um, Gortrix and Edward are facing an opponent who's got a better better go with them. So. Insane. These guys have probably been resting. The lazy jerks. All right. Nice. Horse, 
Horse damage is just inherently a fun sentence to say, a fun <laughs> set of it's, words to say. Yeah, horse, horse damage, damage. It's like, uh, it actually comes from D&D. Um, it's, uh, it's a type of arcane damage, you know, like fire, electricity. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Just, it's <laughs> like a summon in, in Final Fantasy, and just a mm. bunch of horses <laughs> come out of the sky, out of nowhere, and just trample them. Um, the, really? So that's not good for Mark. Uh, no. Um, you have. Uh, what's the total, Thomas? Was it 18 with with your chainmail? 16. Uh, 16, because uh, chainmail is 10, shield is 6. Okay. Do you guys have reinforced, though? You player characters? Uh, no. No. I just, uh, it, yeah, it's taken like the book, it's very special yeah. for people to have reinforced chainmail. Okay. So, Mark, you take 4 uh, damage. Oh, a question. Yep. Did I heal my current hit points from last time? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank Christ. A couple of months 20. and it was negligible damage. So. It's nowhere near my major wound. So. Yeah. yeah, you guys, so what you need to pay attention to is knockdown and major wounds, which are both listed on your sheet. Or, mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So does that mean we have to reach that level in hit points, or...? For major wound, yes. For knockdown, I believe it's all at once. So it's like, oh, gotcha. if you take it all mm. at once, you risk being thrown off your horse. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so track those two numbers. Um, Dallin, you managed to get through. It's it's not super impressive, but uh, basically, you do manage to uh, attack your opponent successfully, um, and he takes four damage. All right. So we can go into the next round. All right. All right. Hey, nice. crit. Good work, Mark. Yes. These ones are a little better. Actually, fighting proper Irish knights. Actually, would they be Irish knights, or would they be the... I almost forgot to add my thing again. You can test Heraldry. Alright. Oh, oh so close. Uh, this but is so close. Likelihood yeah. is, unless he crits, you, you've you got him. Because he crits on 19. Yeah. So, oh, goodness. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah so Heraldry, Heraldry succeeds. Yeah. These are Peshant's knights, so these are actually knights from Cambria. Jeez. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, hold on. Let me. These are Saxon knights. That would make a lot oh, of sense. Oh, fucking oh. Saxons! <laughs> so. Oh shit! Yeah. Is that so? Can are... we test passions twice? No. Edward fights with renewed vigor. <laughs> actually, I wanna just because I can. Can I roll for racism? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there would fun. there would be no uh, no need to okay. here. Yeah. But because okay. you're already in But. With no mechanical value, can he still do it? Yes. <laughs> you can make if you if you want to test that. What you would do is test. Um, uh, what is it? There is a. It's not a passion. It'll be. Um, what is it? Trust me. Would it be vengeful. Yes. Yeah, you can test vengeful. Okay. Do you have vengeful? Sacrifice? Do you have a bonus uh, to that? Well, his hatred Saxons, he just has red vengeful. Okay, yeah. But he can... is very vengeful. Uh, uh, you know what? If you want, I will... You don't even have to test it. Go ahead and tick... Um... What's his vengeful at? Actually. Uh, 16. Yeah, go ahead and test his vengeful. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a shame you didn't have to check that when uh, you were fighting Justinia or whatever his name was. Yeah. He's not attacked, so oh, I'm. I'm funny. definitely gonna challenge him again, though. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> definitely gonna happen. Didn't need to make the roll for it. <laughs> I told y'all, he is going to kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're you're testing vengeful. No. Right. Right. Oh, you want me to roll it? Yeah, please roll it. Okay. Okay. Oh, you are not you're not taking vengeful here. It doesn't mean you're not vengeful. Uh, it's 16 guarantees yeah. that you are. It just means that you're not uh, risk of vengeful growing even more. Um, so that's... <sighs> <laughs> Don't worry. 16 uh, is enough to, for me to 
automatically take over your character at times and be like, nope, you have to do this because you're Ventral 16. I'm going so. to kill all of them. <laughs> um, so, Every Saxon on this planet. So with that in mind, why don't we go ahead and get um, the three of you to make your, your next round of attacks. Uh, we, we did make on this yeah. round, but uh, it was yeah. my, uh, my roll. Didn't... Or no, I yeah. rolled too. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you oh. rolled, you just didn't tell what um, uh, what it came out to. Right. So, um, all three of them succeed, which means they get to use their shield, um, but none of them mm. beat you guys. So you all Indeed. you all get to deal normal damage. Um, and I get to the crit. Uh, sorry, Mark gets to roll double damage. Yeah. Right. Oh, 46, that's good. 46? Yeah. Oof. Uh, 46 minus 16, so 10 more. Um, it's not going to be enough to... 46 minus 16 is 20. Oh, yeah. 40, uh, what yeah, are sorry. It's 30. 30, it, 30 it is, entirely I will there. preface 30, that yeah. it's midnight here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I have no such excuse. Right. I am just a fool. Mm. So 46. I'm uh, just looking here to see... You can't yeah. tell, but in the background, I've got a calculator open. Yeah, it's it's thirty. Mm. That um. Okay, we'll, we'll resolve from from top to bottom. So we'll start with Thomas. Um, yeah. Actually, we'll start with uh, Liam. You need to roll damage. I do need to do that. I keep forgetting that part. I'm like, oh yeah, I hit him. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> oh. Uh, can I? I used Lance. Does that mean I can still use my horse damage? Yes. Oh man, I've been mis I have been mistreating this horse this whole time. It needs I, more. I respect. need to double check something. We'll earmark it for next time. Whether or not Perfect. it's only a charge that you get to use your horse damage or not. But gotcha. for now, yeah. for now, go, go for it. We're more in thematic and learn the rules. As a sixteen. Wow. Could have been better. <laughs> Yeah, that would say so. Roll. That's a, you do zero damage to your opponent. Um, Unfortunate. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm debating here with Mark. Um, Thirty. He took none beforehand. Um, That's gonna knock him on his ass. Uh. Yeah. Um, Holy sh! Oh. Okay. Well, What's that he roll for? fumbled. Yeah. That was his horsemanship. Um, oh so, yeah. So he He's actually, you you catch him with a sword, and you can tell that um, you caught him real good. You can see the blood just welling right up in the chain mail as you do, um, and you see him fall over. It looks like he's still very much in control of himself, but as he falls over, you actually hear his him crunch as. He lands neck first <laughs> on the ground. His body just awkwardly flips over itself, and you oh. do not see him moving as he lays in the pool uh, beside him. Oh God, him. <laughs> that's rough. Uh. Okay, um, for for um, Goratrix, you you were successful, but your opponent um, has not taken yeah. enough to to um, you know fall yeah. off his horse or, or be killed uh, at this point. So. You've done eight damage to him. And Liam, uh, this time, unfortunately, you were un unable to breach his, his shield. You got his shield up in time and he blocked it. Next time, use fine. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> next round, folks. Next round. This is fun. I like this combat. It's, it's, yeah. I, I yeah. mean, I imagine I would probably like it a little less if I was having to run it, but it just being a part of it is, is nice. <laughs> it, it's fun to see what, what people do thematically. I think I like that yeah. part, like the narrative edge to it. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I'm reluctant nice to go with the moving unit battle figure stuff. Maybe yeah. every once in a while yeah. that would be fun. But... God yeah. damn it. All my good <laughs> rolls are gone. Yeah. That's rough. It's it's probably gonna resurge. I think I'm taking them right now, but it will we'll swap places soon. Uh, we've been all <laughs> over the place, but we've mostly been trending towards good. And then Mark's rule. Well, uh, Mark didn't I kill him? Dead. Oh right, right, right. Yep. Or he he killed. Oh, he yeah. Fell. Yeah, the died. ground killed him. Gravity killed him. Yeah. God killed him. <laughs> God killed him. God is on our side. <laughs> 
He must be. Yeah, God doesn't believe oh. in the Irish. Are you kidding me? Oh. You are fortunate that, that you rolled the 20 and it wasn't Mark's guy because that would have been a crit. <laughs> um, yeah. That being said, Mark, Mark it would have been uh, your sword's uh, interesting. Um, Did you say fumble? Yes, that is a yeah, fumble. Yeah, it's a fumble. Yeah. He is, uh, well, we're going to see what you do because you critted and he fumbled at the same time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to roll on that just see. for entertainment. I'm going to roll that uh, yeah. times three damage. So. All right. Um, <laughs> watch, me, watch me get a yeah, watch me get a grand total of eighteen. Okay, yeah. that's sixty-six. That's Dallin, 66 you beat your opponent that. by one. Jeez, man. <laughs> I am so sorry for you and your rolls tonight, Bob. I'm not though because it's it's good for me. No, I like it. Good for a first it's, battle. It's this is really lot. good. Mm. I didn't want to have to be rolling up new characters or figuring out what we're gonna do yet. And not saying that Has, won't happen, but it hasn't happened yet. So. That's okay. a twenty-one. It's a goodly number. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Horse damage. That is that is impressive. I mean, it's it's no forty four, but yeah. you still sixty six <laughs> actually six. That's right. It's no sixty six. <laughs> All right. Jeez, so you touched him with your sword, and he just exploded like Doctor Manhattan. But... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a good reference. Thank um... you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. He's still standing. Um, this time you draw a bit of blood, but he's still very much ready to go. He's still on horseback uh, fighting you. I'm just going to shout yield <laughs> at the top <laughs> of my lungs. Um, he says, uh, um, you first. Uh, he, he's very confident in himself, which probably will be his downfall. Indeed. That's not how yielding works. You do one <laughs> or the other. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give us a, another roll, Liam. This will be your attack roll again. All right. Let's do another run at him. Ugh. It's decent. Hey. Oh, it's still better than his, yeah. though. So yep. Good. I'm glad I'm not playing a knight right now. That would be... <laughs> <laughs> um... That's good damage. Whittling be a away. 20, 25 horse. <laughs> horse damage. Okay, so that is an extra nine. Horse damage, actually, uh, regular mundane damage reduction doesn't affect it. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing. It's horse. Yeah, it's true. Horse damage. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My favorite, my favorite school of magic is the... The uh, equimancy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what type of damage is? He's Force not damage. yielding. Uh, to yield before. Um, His king is yeah. twenty right, meters away. Is right yeah. there. Yeah. 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 It would be a great dishonor mm. to yeah. fold as a. a he, he's here to lose his life, basically. I, yeah, I gave him the it, option. You're, you're, he's made his choice. <laughs> okay, so uh, he's still fighting on. He's not making a roll at this point. Um, uh, next round. All right. Man, if only this guy had a horse feel. <laughs> hey, that's... you did it. That's a crit. That's very yeah. good, and I, I got a crit. I think you're about to yes, end it right now. So give us 66, and you're doubling that damage. Oh, oh man. Um, <laughs> that's still. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, that's quite 50, a bit. 58 damage, right? I that right. Yep. Uh, 48. Yeah. No, 29 times 2 is 58. You're right, is 58. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 58, and he's only going to soak 16. He is dead. Um, Ugh. So you. What a pity. You basically. There isn't much left of his face when Stalin's and Lance goes into it. Um, and he topples over. His horse rides away. Um, you see um, Passant has managed to get help from a couple of his guards. One of them stuck Bellius. Um, Bellius is sort of like exiting a bit from the fight. It, it's not so much that he's running from Passion as he's outnumbered right now. Um, Passion is kind mm. of holding back into the defense of his men. Um, I know three people who can help the line us out. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't right. need reinforcements, but he's got the fucking Riders of Rohan over here coming in. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, um, <laughs> let me just check something. All right. Um, Man, we have been so incredibly lucky. I am just waiting for the oh moment this crawls yeah, in on ourselves. Is, yeah, and all of our arrogance just falls in on yeah. itself. Hash, it just comes after us and kills us all in three hits. <laughs> yeah. all right. The line of Fortigrand ends today. Actually, I... Like, maybe there are cousins who are... Uh, who are they? Just... Uh, they died! <laughs> Edward challenges him to single combat, and after half the battle and half his health, he goes, Here's the thing, I'm left-handed. <laughs> and then switches hands. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, so uh, again, we're picking picking someone to roll a d20 plus 5. I assume you're glory-seeking, given the scenario. Um, like, yeah, you know yeah. what? Add a plus 10 this time. You guys are so close to the battle. So 1d20. Hell yeah. There's um, no um, way you're um, fighting a peasant where you are right now, so... Thomas, you want to take it? You've been getting good rolls. Uh, yeah, totally. yeah, sure. Let's do it. Uh, it makes thematical sense. I got the the crit and the fumble. Uh, so let's yep. see, let's see how the luck works out here. Was that was that our third round or was that the fourth round that we just did? This uh, is we're the fourth on round. round. We're, going oh, we're on round five right now. We're on round five. Round five. We're on yes. round five. That was the. Yeah, the fourth one we just did. Speaking of, let me just quickly. Fourth round. Uh, Cambrian Knights? No, Saxon Knights. Saxon, Saxon Knights. Knights. I just said fourth, guys. But yeah, yeah, yeah I appreciate fourth it. There guys. you go, much better. <laughs> um, Alright, uh, watch me fumble, guys. Eh, 26. 26. Alright. Uh, the three of you uh, are against uh, Passions. And... Woo! two of his elite guards. Oh, man. Now, this is a question. Which one of us wants to take passion? I can take that. I think you and I are about the same in skill, sort of. Um, yeah, I do, I I do slightly we're... more damage being big, but ultimately, mm -hmm. we've got enough armor that it's just with the rollover that we'll be doing uh, too much yeah. damage. I'm at 15 much, with yeah. sword and lance, and I my horse does d6 and I do d5. So, mm. yeah. Uh, uh, I'm yeah, gonna I'm roll right, for it. Uh, yeah, tell you what, uh, let's do e20. Higher one, higher one gets to fight him. I, I like yeah, I like how good. it's so arrogant that gets to fight him. Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, I got seven. You're probably gonna. I got oh, one. No. <laughs> okay. I ain't fighting right. shit. In that case, uh, passion is mine. And that whole, the line of Vortigern ends today. Uh, except, like, maybe there are cousins that, um, is canonical. He says that, like, <laughs> as he's going into the fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah fair enough. All right, um, we're going to describe how we're going about this. And you guys can give me your roles. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. well... Uh, Goratrix is probably going to bark out, uh, Elias, we are with you! Uh, as we, uh, we, we trundle up, we, we, we trundle up against the Irish boys. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of our king again? Uh, Aurelius. Right? Aurelius. Yeah. I think, uh, Edward's just gonna shout out, FOR KING AURELIUS! Alright. Gallon's uh, gonna leap over a body with their horse that's in the way and, and try to do a stab at the guy as, as, as they do, and they're not gonna shout anything except for just <laughs> 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 Always right. go with the oh, yeah. The orc yell is always a, an yeah. amazing option. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing all the guys we're fighting are on a horseback. I just want to check. Um, no. The two, oh, but oh. They, they cancel out your advantage. Because they have the uh, right, yeah, that's right. Because they got yeah. uh, is passion on a horse. Yes. Gotcha. If he weren't, then I'd be dismounting. <laughs> I can't believe Elias is ditching us to go and hang out over in the corner with Maddox yeah. there. Hang out with, hang out with Maddox. <laughs> he, uh, he definitely. Uh, you saw some red stains on his. Yeah. 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 He, he probably he his work. probably appreciates the break. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Oh. We roll into hit here. We roll into yeah. hits. Yep. We haven't been doing too great, so... Basically, these, no. these three you were fighting, he was just fighting all three of them. 
Yes. Oh yeah. Okay, that's yeah. fair. <laughs> that's, that, yeah, that's understandable. He can he can chill. He can take a break. Oh yeah. All right, mediocre yeah, across no. the board. Let's see how it goes. Uh oh. Hey, my guy rolled <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. So the good news is none of them critted. That's that's the thing to worry about, <laughs> right? That that's, honestly, that's though, that, <laughs> that's the thing to worry about. Um, Actually, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but I think the first guy did crit. No, no. Uh, see, if you roll over, it does 14 oh, plus Oh, did I add? No, I, added in. Oh, good. I added it in, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Because I, I, I just about checked, was like, am I dead? And then... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so we've got... Um... Oh, my uh... Mark, you, you, you succeed. So you get to deal damage, right. and then the other two are facing... Um... Damage themselves. Twenty. That's good. Ooh, that's good. You you manage to actually. He doesn't have a shield. So yes, that's, that's beautiful. That's ten neither, neither of the elite guards with the heavy spears have shields. So you just did ten damage. To oh. him. What All a bunch right. of dummies! What a bunch of dummies! <laughs> so he shields are really handy, you know. Um. So you both end up with light scenarios uh because you succeed so dallin you take one one damage oh that's um, an injury that's rough where do i mark that uh go to uh, current hit points yeah. oh, right. so the yeah, the advantage here under glory oh, i'm at zero <laughs> I haven't. I, oh, don't, yeah. I don't think I adjusted them properly, though. Uh, what, uh, just go to, yeah, go to total hit points, which you should see left to it. Uh, it's right near the bottom, above distinctive features. Right above distinctive features. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. All right, and then we are into the next round. I'm at twenty three of twenty four. So Gartrix's chain is helping him out quite a bit against, uh, you know, getting sorted. And your shield. And my shield. My yeah. shield is definitely helping. Like, yeah. anything between the blade and my mm. flesh. Oh, do I do uh, think that was think mastercrafted in this game. Like, you really feel the shield in this game versus yes, a lot. Exactly. And it's easy to go, Very did much. my shield help? Was it higher than 10? Yes, then my yeah. shield helped. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. It did help. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Passion is using his passions right now to make his roles better? <laughs> Do you think he made a passion check at the beginning of this? A passion check? Pa a passion, passion doesn't need to make a passion check. check. He knows passion. who he is. Yeah, that's true. Passion. That's, that's, that's his passion. special ability. <laughs> he has yeah. a yeah. passion. Passion, passion. I'm He's always in passion. It's like a Johnny mm. Bravo thing. He's just himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice work, Dalen. Oh, all right. Uh, nice. Oh, I got it wrong. My guy's probably going to hit me. Uh, hold on. If we take out his guy, oh, that sucks. Oh, no. I'm about to get fucked up. Oh, Jesus. That guy almost crit. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, boy. Almost crit. Uh, <laughs> I, I think the this... top one. Top did, one did crit. crit. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yes, yeah. he did. Got a twenty-two. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> All right, Wait, Thomas, no. you uh, you take nineteen damage. Uh, uh no, times double. Two, right? Times two. Yeah. 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 Um, so, so that's thirty-eight minus or sixteen is twenty-two. 22 is pretty bad for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I imagine you're that... making a uh, horsemanship roll here. Yeah. That would have left me at 2, so... <laughs> <laughs> and that your leaves mom? me at 10. Uh, I'm going to make a horsemanship roll. Yeah. Uh, because that's uh, my major wound is 14. Yeah. Yeah. A horsemanship roll, and then we'll get into what the major wound does. It's more of like an after effect, from what I can tell. So. Mm. Yeah, you'll mark. Oh, oh. go ahead and check. Ooh, nice. Go ahead and check horsemanship. Beauty. Um, you know what I need to start doing, and then I'm not doing, is you're mm -hmm. you're rolling this with impassioned, right? Or passion? Yeah. So these aren't crits. These aren't natural crits. So I need to be 
careful about giving you oh, yeah. free ticks. We need to, we need to, we right. need to mark it for now. Uh, I'm gonna I'll play the rest of this first way okay. this way. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah. for transparency's sake, uh, that was a fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you you managed to stay on top of your horse as Passion's um, sword um, managed to uh, get past your shield, and basically he runs it very skillfully up the side of your your arm, almost kind of finding weak weak spot in mm -hmm. your chain, and just running it right across it. <laughs> There's just a, a pained gasp. Oh, holy oh, crap, yeah. man! You got. 60 damage. Just 60 damage to my guy. <laughs> God, uh, fucking hey, dead. Um, <laughs> can I say that that was a, a, a stab of passion considering that uh, my friend just got stabbed? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No! <laughs> yeah, so uh, Sir Dallin, you managed to uh, managed to uh, spear one of the, the, the bodyguards. Uh, kill him dead right there. Uh, he's probably still standing for a moment as his brain um, falls to to a complete uh, standstill and he pitches over dead. Uh, you have to actually pull your spear out of him. It's that far uh, ingrained oh, in his head. Um, Edward, you took... Did you take damage there? You did. Uh, supposed to. Uh, Definitely hit me. Right, I didn't roll damage against you. Yeah, you yeah, got damage. sidetracked by by the big nasty. Um, yeah, big nasty. Yeah. Okay, so the good news is these guys aren't super nasty, but he still rolled really. Oh, well. oh for oh. Now you get your shield, so you're you're soaking sixteen of that. Uh, that's is still this... quite a bit. Am yeah. I suddenly uh, going to be doing a Cerbelius here? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a 1v3, because uh, one of them's dead. That's true. I did already even the score a little bit. He's not 18? No. And I'm going to put, I'm going to, to make this a little more interesting, I'm going to put a condition Eight? on this. There will be mm -hmm. reinforcements on Passion's side within three more rounds yeah. if uh, <laughs> we need to fuck this guy up yeah. Uh, yeah. or uh you know bail eight. as well is also an option yeah you took eight damage right so i'm currently on 18 it is not enough yeah i'm not quite the major wound part. okay well, that's that's good because that's where you're you start losing stats so um yeah um, yeah, for me, I, I I am on the major wound part. So, yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. gotta dis if you gotta disengage, Gortrix, you know, do what you gotta do. I'll write in and I'll I'll get in there. Gortrix wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. tell me. I, honestly, either way, Sir Dalian should probably do his best to fuck up passion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> honor or no way. honor, I think I need to die. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Gortrix is at the point that he's not going to like insist on single combat if he even can. Uh, he is close to death. Um, well, I'm getting in there. Y you got this guy, Edward. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> you got him. Let's make this. Let's make this interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. get you to test been... to see if you would. Um, Further. Okay. Um, let me just see. Is honor honor okay? Honor is a passion, so that's yeah. Would it be valorous or like just? Just oldest. Uh chivalrous. Wow. That's what it is. Chivalrous. Yeah. Right. I don't see chivalrous. chivalrous? Yeah, chivalrous is oh, that's a, a chivalry bonus. bonus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where the. Oh, there's honor is in your is in your passions underneath hospitality. Yeah, yeah. you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get you to test you. Um, no, that that seems a little rough. The, 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 it is a battle. I mean, you it know, I did a one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Uh, you can choose. I'm gonna leave it to Liam. You can choose to intervene. Uh, if you do so, I'm going to give you a check on. Um, arbitrary and uh to check on um 
and I'll have you reduce your honor by one. Perhaps this will change your your assessment of the situation. I do have a 16 in just, so. Uh, um, it, is my, it is my highest passion, even about so Valorous. There's, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing here. That's not what mm -hmm. I'm trying to do. As much yeah, as yeah, yeah. it's a choice, and it's like a, a choice that matters to Dallin, I think. Yeah, comes that's down fair. To. Uh, it, I think in in this moment, Dallin is absolutely concerned about the death of the friend that she likes. Yes, uh, that he likes. No offense, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's completely fair. Like, <laughs> I don't. You know so, what we're gonna Edward <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, um, I'm gonna get you to um, test. Um, actually, give me three d six roll. Three d six. Oh, yeah. that's ominous. All right. The Lord smites you for this much. As 15. a fifteen. All right. You now have a um, love. Sir Garatrix. This is Gortrix. Aww. This is like family. Aww. It's like family. Yeah, fam uh, yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's oh, adorable. Yeah, and now, right. now you may We're test. Have a bond. Now you may test against that. Yeah. For all of for all of ten seconds before I die. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so dope. If uh is it is that a fifteen or that that, that Gortrix is at here? Uh Yes. Love yep. yep. Oh man, dude, I love you so much, bro. Let's do this. <laughs> you love me more than I hate Saxons. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> God, I know exactly where I want this to end up too. All right, here we go. Uh, and then I'm sorry, I'm testing that. Yes. Yes. Uh, am, I am adding my plus ten. Uh no, not in this. Case. No. Yeah. Cool. What would a fumble do? Hey, nice. yeah, so, nearly a crit. Yeah, so you uh, you have no problem entering this, and I'm not going to make you even tick the the honor loss. So, hooray! Um, all right. So, with that in mind, um, we've got two okay. folks going at uh, passions and uh, one against Edward. So, let's do some stabbing. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Um. Pretty much trying to staunch the bleeding with his shield arm and protect himself at the same time. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna swing with a sword. Close. Hope this guy doesn't crit against me. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> I think we're getting our rolls back. We're getting our yeah. I, I reckon we got. Wait till Liam rolls yeah, if, first before he's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah that's. I that's got, true. I got a seven out of twenty. Oh, okay. Okay. I see Ooh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Not. Not great. <laughs> he could. Um, okay, so Mark, you're gonna succeed, so you can do damage. Um, Thomas, oh, just. Thomas, you're gonna succeed. Liam, you're not. Thomas, he's going at you because he doesn't know that Dallin's in the mix right now, so he's okay. going at, at yep. Gortrix, not Edward. Oh, only an 18. Ugh, 17. Ooh. I right. do scratch damage. So these are, yeah, these are minor, you know, blows against the, the yeah. armor, is basically how that's working. Um, I could do eight damage against my guy. Twelve total right now, and that's the first damage oh. against um, passion. No, no, it it would be eight. I should have marked it above if it was. Um, yeah, because he did eighteen, and he's got a soak of ten. And previously, he two. did yeah. ten damage. Oh no, because he's fighting the guy with the great spear. He doesn't have a shield. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Sorry, that's what I wasn't factoring. Mm, For Mark yeah. is what you're referring to. I was confused. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so he no, takes yeah. another 8. So he's at 18 damage is what he's taken so far. He, mm -hmm. You did 10 to him uh, the last time you hit him, then he hit you, <laughs> and then you've done eight, 8 more to him right now. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And then for Thomas, you you draw the yeah. first bit of blood against them. Against them, so... All right, so next next action. All right, uh, once again, we're, we're sorting. Let's, let's yeah. see. I sorted. Oh, 
Yes! Oh, yeah. Oh, that. not only that, yours was a natural. Yeah, actually. Okay, natural Mark. Crit. Natural crit. Uh, interesting. I've already marked salt. Yeah. Oh, I'm rolling again. Uh, yes, please. Bada bing. Bada bing. Triple crit. No, oh, so close. Oh, <laughs> so close. Oh, so close. One off. Oh, man. Oh. Almost. All almost. right, and so the good news is all three of you got ahead of your opponents. It's possible you were, you didn't. Um, so let's let's see what the damage looks like. Come on, paganism. Nice. All right, then. Fifty damage for me. Forty-eight from me. Liam, Liam, you gotta roll. You gotta roll horse damage. Sorry, I was posting a meme to the chat. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, eighteen. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, as as uh, Sir Dalen comes like riding in, Sir Gortrix is uh trying to give a particularly savage hack um to Passion, but his eyes like light up as he sees his friend coming to save him because uh, Sir Gortrix isn't overly prideful. He knows that his guts are spilling right now. <laughs> okay. Um. Just checking something here. Yep. 48 minus 16 plus 2. Yeah. 34 I, damage. I'm, I like this system a lot. It, it's, it, it hasn't like been going back and forth for me. Every time I play it, I'm like, yeah, this is pretty cool. But like, I think it, it's finally at a point where I'm like, yeah, this is dope. I like this a lot. <laughs> yeah. one of those like, this is one of those systems that like most people look at and go, eh, it's not for me. But all the game designers are like, "This is the best one in the world." It's weird. Mm. Like a lot of the <laughs> a lot of the indie game designers are all about this game. So, um, okay, so <laughs> I was gonna do something. What did, oh yeah, <laughs> that was really good work. <laughs> what did I miss? Uh, um, he posted in the chat uh, a gif of um, that fight in JoJo's with uh, two people kicking yeah. someone and the person drinking wine, and then yes, nice. <laughs> he's got the got the tag uh, Edward joining the battle. It's good. You'll you'll have a lot to look forward to once once we're done here. Are, are these in Discord? Yeah, they're they're yeah, they're, okay. they're, yeah, they're yeah, on the Discord. Discord. I I could have it set up on my phone or something so I could quickly look. Uh, I'll nah, think about that in the it's, future. It's, it's not huge. It's just it's just little goofs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. The spearman for sure is dead. Um, I'm just gonna check. Fifty what's... damage, that's forty damage to the face. And what's what's Gortrix's um, <laughs> like total health? What's his max HP? Gortrix. Uh, his max HP is thirty-two. Okay. Um, though he doesn't fall off his horse, Passion uh, falls uh, onto his horse dead. Uh, he's oh, oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. And it's actually we are, we are yeah. So he goes to flee um, as Goratrix um, lands a very nasty blow against him, and then it's Dallin's spear uh, that catches him as he's riding away. Um, ha ha! Yeah. yeah. Uh, Goratrix's eyes, despite the battle, despite the wounds, uh, they light up uh, as Sir Dalen comes in for the rescue. He goes, Dalen, thank you. Not a moment too soon. You looked like you were in a spot of trouble, friend. Let's yeah. I'd say we've done enough here that we can probably call it a day. You wanna you wanna start playing it safe? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um At this point Edward would probably ride over. How goes it, you two? By God, the bastard's dead. He got bastard, yes. If we aren't careful, G Gortrix may soon join him. I am uh, losing blood. <laughs> I've taken a few hits myself. Uh, how goes you, Sir Dalen? I'm fine, but uh, not exactly sure how confident I feel at looking after both of you. <laughs> Alright, let's meet up with uh, Sibelius. Let's see if we can't make a, uh, a glorious... Um, Step uh, backwards. Let it advance in the opposite direction. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to fall back, um, sort of um, strategically fall into the, the light 
basically you are routing one of the two groups, the smaller group here, which is, is, mm -hmm. was under a passion. So, mm -hmm. um, you, you would be moving towards Billy Manius's folks. Um, um, I'm going to let you skip a couple of rounds there just for, it makes sense. Um, it would take a couple of rounds to, to gracefully exit, but Slight our actually, way back. <laughs> a, actually, um, I think this is a battle roll for somebody, oh, uh, whoever, dude. which of the three oh. you is guiding, guiding the way back. Um, uh, Dalen, do you want to take that? Cause you're yeah. the least wounded and makes sense currently. Yeah. I got 15 and I am the one pushing for you guys yeah. to get to safety. So yes. Uh, oh, remember good. to take your, your, your passion. Bonus. Yeah. 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 Could have so been better. <laughs> it's, a success. it's a success. Success is a success. So uh, you managed to find your way to the back lines um, gracefully. You see um, an opportunity as well as you get back there. There's a lot of wounded soldiers. There's talk of a, a final charge. Um, you see that they're starting to, um, with, with the other side routed in King uh, Gilomanius losing to Uther slightly. Uh, there's talk of a final sort of charge, a final push. Actually, can I can I quickly like go back in time a little? Yeah. Uh, as we are going, I'd like to tell uh, our forces when we pass them. Uh, Pashunt is dead. The spawn of Vortagon is no more. And just like saying that as we as we go along. Yeah, so that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna talk very amusingly about. Um, who's going to claim that glory. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a good thought about that, but we'll do that in the aftermath. Yeah. It, and we're nearing uh, the end. Right, yeah. might... Doratrix did all the hard work, and then uh, Dallin 360 no-scoped them <laughs> across the map. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it, it's true there's a good chance that, that Gilomanius would die. Um, it would be acceptable to to split the glory on that, but we'll talk about that. And it's going to be your characters deciding, not you guys deciding. <laughs> so we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll do that. Um, so with with this, you think, uh, you think the himbo is going to like get up in arms <laughs> about it? No. <laughs> right. Uh, so there's there's talk of this this final push. Um, actually, this will bring you into round eight. Um, there's uh, a group of uh, knights still on horseback mustering for a final charge. Um, do any of you want to be a part of it? Yeah, why not? Gortrix wants to. Dallin is going to only go if Gortrix uh, agrees to stay and uh, and, <laughs> and rest up. If, if Gortrix right. is going to try to go, Dallin's going to stay behind to keep Gortrix from going. <laughs> But I, but, but final charge. You've done plenty today, friend. They'll be singing Come stories now, about. Him. Surely he could follow a little bit in the back. He'll be. They'll be singing stories of his exploits for decades to come. He needs to rest. Yes, you are. You are probably right, though it bites at me to 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 admit it. Uh, you are right, my friend. Uh, Gortrix, Gortrix will probably uh, <laughs> uh, agree to not go and uh, get his uh, get his various wounds stitched up, and uh, probably lapse into unconsciousness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so we'll. Uh, is anyone mounting up for the for the final? Um... Oh. Edward, 100%. Oh, yeah, let's go, boy. <laughs> He's in yeah. Costco now. I don't have to worry yeah, about it. <laughs> <laughs> just... okay. um, Baby's asleep. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll, you know what? We'll save this one a bit because I think it's, you know, uh, it makes sense to not do another full round of combat at this point. Uh, why don't you both just test your your lance um, for me on this charge? Okay. We'll do we have like a bonus? Yeah, you still have your... Um, plus five oh, and then the plus ten. So love that. All right. Fifteen. Yes. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't Thomas, around. you can you can test um, prudent. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> See if I follow up after. All right, let's do this. That's a failure. <laughs> That's a failure on prudent. Uh, <laughs> test test its. Uh, 
that's the opposite. Reckless. Reckless. Yeah. Reckless. That's a success. <laughs> oh, buddy! <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, no. So, as as um as uh, the charge begins, and you see Edward and Dallin, <laughs> and then <laughs> right beside Dallin <laughs> rides uh, Goratrix. Uh, <laughs> I just meant is that is yeah. that Goratrix? All of a sudden, he just like t- leans over to Dallin. Yeah, Better there's just like, a thunder of hooves, and then like there's a little one just a little bit behind, and then like is someone is someone no. <laughs> oh, poor buddy, his adrenaline's definitely worn off by now. He's got to be in so much pain. Oh man, uh, riding a horseback on a good day is kind of painful. Yeah, especially, <laughs> especially with uh, with a grievous wound. Um, oh, shall I make my last check? Yes. Uh, now that I am part yeah. of this charge. Um, d- <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, he's one of the he's one of those oh, babies no. that gets out of their crib. <laughs> he can't escape. Right. So he's out of their crib and organizes a jailbreak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This this final <laughs> charge crashes into the remaining forces and they start to rout and scatter. Um, King Gilmanius is defeated as they move to um, start to ret- retreat to the ships. Some of the knights around you call for um, call for. Uh, I need to go forward. Let's route them now. Let's let's not give those uh, bastards an opportunity to get back to those ships. We can end them, end them now, once and for all. And some of the some of the men start to muster. Do They're we have retreating though? Um, I would like to. Uh, if mm. the net, they haven't formally surrendered, right? If they'd surrendered, we'd be on about to take it. If, if they're routing, like, what is the knightly thing? Well, so there is a knightly bonus, which is the equivalent of I'm an asshole with a sword, but the chivalrous thing would be to allow them <laughs> to, uh, gotcha. to retreat because they're very clearly not... It's not like they're reforming. They are fleeing to their ships. That is all but For a For their lives, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. do, we have, yes. do we have any word from Uther or Maddox, Maddox about what, what, what they are doing? Yeah, give me one second. Also, I will note I'll that tell you, Edward's going to do whatever the prince. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, as, uh, as like, uh, Sir Dalen or Edward might look over to see Gortrix, like Gortrix meets their eyes after that decisive charge and just kind of looks like a, like a dog who's eaten something. That he <laughs> hasn't he's mm. got like the same kind of, he can't quite meet your eyes and he's looking around. And <laughs> uh, Maddox is charging. Prince Uther is not. Uh, Edward is then going to charge with Maddox. If not I, alongside him, nearby. Yeah, I would... I want to see if I can check Merciful, if that's okay. Yes. Because uh, I want to determine uh, just what Gortrix might be. Gortrix in for a penny, in for a pound, and Maddox cool, mm. and those guys haven't surrendered. Well, test and test the opposite all. of Merciful as well. Um, yes. Yeah. Because uh, cool. you're at 10. It's it's more interesting yeah. to test them against each other. It's a yeah. failure oh, with both. It though. is literally your choice, then. And, oh, okay. Yeah, it, your dice don't make it for you. Ultimately, yeah. you are... You're, um, I'm the architect of my own fate. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Gortrix isn't in it for the killing. Gortrix is in it for the fighting. If people are retreating, they are not fighting. Gortrix is going to stay uh, alongside, uh, well, the rest of the people and Uther. Um, and then... Oh, he's going to be torn. Sorry. What, what about, um, what about Dallin? What is Dallin doing here? Well, I think Dallin's a little conflicted. <laughs> Um, Do you have a high um, cruel or merciful? I don't. They're okay. they're pretty dead even. Um, you can test it if you want to see if it makes it for you. You're welcome to do that here. I think so. I think I think I will. Let's do that. See how our, how our passions drive us. So not oh. merciful. Oh. 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 Where are we dropping? 
<laughs> fuck them. <laughs> just fuck the Irish. Uh, yeah. So uh, like you decide. Call me Irish now. Yeah, you just. <laughs> um, I, I let's let's ask Dallin. What? Why is Dallin so? Dallin, is this a, just a pragmatic? This will send them away and make them rethink coming again or what what is it about this that makes Dallin go yeah we need to we need to get it well here. Dallin's gonna remember that soldier that that farmer that Dallin tried to let go earlier and who the second that he had a chance still went for a stab and they're gonna look at the the fleeing soldiers heading towards their ships and think about well where are they going after this they're going home and what's at home save for more weapons, more soldiers? <laughs> yeah, if if Maddock is charging, we're charging too. All right, noted. Uh, I will also add that Edward, for his part, isn't doing this out of any rage uh, or vengeance. Primarily, he is doing this uh, because of his loyalty to his lord. This idea of you fight alongside your lord, and if need be, you die alongside so Got he's it. up for anything. Yeah, so this is Matic being present that's that's pushing you to. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um so for Dallin, um we're going to get you to go ahead and check cruel. Hell yeah. Let's yeah, go baby. Nice. <laughs> Woo. I'm going to be well, super just and super cruel by the end of this story. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Uh, and then uh, those things can, they aren't mutually exclusive. That's for sure. That's true. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just take the, you know, uh, anyone who chops heads <laughs> off for a living. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, all right. So uh, for Gora tricks, uh, mm -hmm. you get to add a check to merciful and forgiving. Oh, nice. For avoiding the, what uh, would otherwise I be a slaughter. I already have a check for forgiving. Does that it, do anything or just? It, nope. It just means check merciful then. Gotcha. But yes. What did uh, you check tricks, on forgiving? Yeah. Just curious. Was that uh, back that in? Was, yeah, that was back in the, the feast. Uh, yes. It was for the, the friendship with, um, uh, with Sir Belias because I had to uh, check forgiving versus uh, vengeful for him spilling a drink and being odious. At me, mm. but uh, I did, and I got the check for it. Nice. Okay. But yes, um, I'll check for that people. And uh, even even if he, you know, didn't lose two pints of blood, he'd still be very <laughs> iffy about going <laughs> going and fighting retreating people. You know. Mm. Exactly. Hey, um, I'm <laughs> just thinking... imagine. Let the fuzzy squares retreat. It's fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The fuzzy squares did nothing to us. <laughs> who's that dude? With the, who's that blue dude? I don't like that blue dude. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to. We do have a major wound to deal with at some point, which we can. Yes. We can. I'd like to deal with it on screen, just for you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of a learning the rules as we go and allows viewers to see how the the game works a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But um, we have two options here. I'll take your guys' input. We can stop here. It's well past when I normally like to run to, um, or we can do some minor vignettes I had planned, uh, kind of coming out of the battle. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with, man. Uh, the only yeah. thing that I need to do is like uh, eat something, and I can always snack later. Um, mm. uh, I'm all good. Much good on my end. Uh, it's you yeah. American people uh, where it's running pretty late for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one American and one. Uh, Canadian? Are you Cana you're Cana you're Canadian? You're I'm an American right? citizen, actually. You're an American citizen. Yeah. Well, fuck me, I guess. Then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> North America or South Canada? South Canada. Yeah. South I'm Canada. Just, Sometimes I wish. Canadian man. imposter. Uh, so. <laughs> um, I'm I'm good. Like I said, I'm not. I'm like, I I am working tomorrow, but not until the late afternoon. So I'm like I'm good to go, buddy. It's up to you, Bob. I won't normally make except like normally I would stop for sure before now, but. I'm mm -hmm. having a good time. It's been fun. Yeah, so, right on. So yeah. we'll note that glory. Just note those final, you know, um, fells that you guys did. Uh, the the spearman and and uh, patient. Um, yeah. Because those will be big. Um, we'll do. So 
next session, sorry, no need to even dive into next session yet. We'll get to that at the end of the stream. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's just continue on where we left off. Um, so is there anything in particular you folks want to do with the aftermath of the battle before we go back into your uh, slice of life, um, Salis uh, Salisbury? Yeah. Uh, well, though it is a little selfish, I would like to see how the major wound gets uh, uh, gets dealt with. Like if I'm up and mobile enough to uh, well to do stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, we can figure that out real quick. Um, I think that's reasonable. Yeah. Sounds good. I too want to see if you're going to bleed <laughs> to death on your yeah. horse. Yeah. <laughs> he got a case of the deaths. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> Guys, there is this man in a black robe and a face of a skull that's <laughs> trying to touch me. <laughs> Sorry, brave knights, but I'm afraid your friend is suffering from an acute case of being fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so just so you know, for for regular healing, like for gaining hit points, you gain your strength plus constitution divided by 10 on Sundays. <laughs> On Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday. All right. This battle, this battle wouldn't have happened to have taken place on a Saturday, would it? It, it literally <laughs> says healing rate every week on Sunday at noon, in fact. I love that line. Goodness. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, nice. Specific. It is day rest. Know, for so Bob and I, it's Monday now. It, yeah. Incidentally, if we were fighting on noon Sunday, would we have gotten our second win? You would like, suddenly moment? heal? <laughs> <laughs> Um, That's the power of the Christian God, baby. Yeah. yeah. It's just arbitrary. I love it. I love that. It's so it's so it's one of those things that's so bad it's good again. Like that's how yeah. um yeah. but um I think for this um Thomas, what was your max number of, of hit points? Just so we know. Uh thirty two. And you took how many? I took twenty two. Twenty two. Um by the time you reach this scene you're going to have back strength plus con divided by 10. Um, so you get to uh, do that uh, strength plus uh, con divided by 10, but you get to do that four times. Oh, gotcha. So that uh, rounding month. up or down? Uh, round up. Gotcha. So that's that's eight. I'm back to 18. You did that four times? Yep. Okay. Because uh, uh, it's strength plus con, which is... Uh, 19 rounding up is 20. That's two times four, eight. All right. Now the major wound part, which I lost the yeah. page of. So give me a sec. <laughs> uh, it's 149. Okay. Thank you. All good. Now it's one page away. There we go. Light wounds. At least you don't have a mortal wound. Uh, damage from a yeah. single injury uh, that equals, that's equal to or greater than uh, your con. Is a major wound, mm -hmm. um, which it so was. You're oh, gonna you're gonna oh, march the. Uh, is it chirurgy or is it surgery? How do you pronounce it? Chirurgy. Uh, surgery. 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 Um, so you're gonna mark mark that box that, that says uh, surgery is needed. <laughs> it is marked. What okay. we didn't do is make me full unconscious. Um. D20 roll against your current hit points. Mm. Yeah, because at that point it would have been a 50 50 and I'd remained conscious and in the fight. I don't think it mattered with where it landed, anyways. I think it was interesting. So we'll we'll just we'll say that yeah. you, you made that roll, right? In this yeah. case. I like good, it. good to know for next time. Um, Definitely. Now here's the not fun part. Attributes yes. lost. Um, so it's so like a permanent where... effect. Where is that table? Okay, keep this page. I'm going to go find that table. Okay. 149. <laughs> Statistics lost. Goodness gracious. Yeah. It's rough. I, this wound was made by a royal, uh, by a royal. So, you know, it, there, there's, there's honor in that. So it wasn't quite, like it. It's quite literally a noble injury. Yeah. 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 Mm. Still, though, if Gordrix ends up with permanent damage from this, I'm going to be so pissed at Gordrix. It isn't Gordrix's <laughs> fault. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's passions. Uh, Gortrix didn't aggravate his wound later. <laughs> yeah, it was just a bad wound. I can't <laughs> yell at I can't yell at passions anymore. Yeah, he's dead. He's, he's dead. dead. Okay, so you get to make a D six. You won a six. All right, let's do this. Come on. It was not a six. It was in it fact was a two. A, it was almost as far from a six as it could have been. All right, oh. you lose one dex. Oh. All right, I'm at eleven decks now. Um, so you can kind of describe that however you want. It could be something to do with your, um, it could be it's, a number it's, of things, really. Yeah, it's definitely a problem with like the torso and the stomach. Like he can't like twist as fast as he used to, so he has to make do with um, uh, different positioning. It just causes a lot of uh, searing pain if he twists too far left or right now. All right, so this is like a permanent sort of injury that he has now so, okay. yes no, uh fun fact you at a weakened dex is still higher than my current dex so <laughs> <laughs> still faster than me i think there was a final part there thomas i don't remember what it was but there was a uh, something else I, I lost the page though 137 should the character uh 149 should the character avoid unconsciousness may wish to continue fighting or uh the injured character must make a successful valorous role to do so possibly with a mo with a modifier i'm very valorous it would have been fine fumbled <laughs> means the knight flees or surrenders critical success may gain some benefit um uh, and five, if further actions are taken, oh dear, uh, once a major wound is suffered, oh dear, both aggravation mm. and deterioration may set in. Aha. So Ooh. where where is that? Uh, where is that? Because <laughs> I did do those. <clears throat> yeah. You know what we're going to do? Yeah. Um, we're going to have you, what are your remaining hit points? Uh, currently 18. Uh, it would otherwise be 10. Because uh, it's 18 after the, the month. Let me just see if there's anything that says aggravation in the book. I bet there's not. Okay. I'm not s seeing anything in the book. So I'm guessing. I think it's just a suggested thing. Then. Yeah, it's a thematic thing. Um, so go ahead and test against your remaining hit points before you fell. Um, gotcha. Uh, so it would be against ten. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's come on. Roll low. Roll low. Roll low. I, I rolled the lowest I could get. Uh, so I, I succeed. Okay. So you will not suffer another loss to your dexterity. Thank Christ. Yeah. You don't make the wound worse. Um, Good. I know what I'm about, son. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. All right. So that's that's your situation. You other guys, you can, if you have missing health, you can have regained for four weeks, at, you know, when we get to your scene. Uh, but this okay. scene in particular will be um, for Thomas. Uh, right. So we're going to just move over to the map real quick and show um, Winterborn Stoke. Um, the old homestead. Yeah. So something in particular stands out, but it, it's a matter of does, does your character really care? You know, does um, ultimately does Gortrix care enough to pay attention? Um, you are noticing that it, as you ride back on what's known as the Salisbury Main, uh, which is, uh, you know, riding far to the north of it. Um, you, you're reaching Winterborn Stoke, but you notice, um, you, you notice there, there's a particular like dour mood in a lot of the people that are here. And you're not used to that. And, and now that you think back, you saw that a bit of the way, um, like on the road as well. Things just seem more somber for some reason. Go ahead and give me a um, an awareness roll as you ride by a That's couple good. of folks. Success. Okay. You overhear um, some news that certainly is is worth knowing. Um, King Aurelius is dead. He fell during the oh. battle in Salisbury. 
That's not good. That does mean that Uther is king. And that does mean that Matic is now crown prince. But uh, Gortrix ultimately, he feels that if his path had diverged, and if he was with the king as he went uh, north to the Battle of Salisbury, he might have been able to do something. But as it is, uh, he mourns the loss of, of his liege lord of liege lords. And uh, that same Dawamud, though definitely not to the same degree as others because of his natural, let's say, boisterousness, uh, it definitely uh, kind of weighs heavy in his heart, too. Indeed. Um, all right. You managed to uh, ride into... Um, so I'm not going to make you test awareness again. You you ride into Winterborn Stoke. Uh, just a side note, I watch a stream where one of the guys is from Winterborn Gunnet, and it really throws me off. I want to say Winterborn Gunnet every time I go to say Winterborn Stoke. Um, it's one. It's one of the Winterborns. We've yeah. had we'd ha we've had a continual a continual rivalry over the rights to the name. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you find yourself um, back in Winterborn Stoke. You see what looks like obvious property damage, signs of things. Uh, perhaps your stables have, have suffered some burning damage. Might be the best way to put that. Mm. Uh, what on earth happened here? Uh, as Gartrix, like loudly enough to be asking anyone and no one. Yeah, you you uh, run into your uncle. So this is um, Balarek. He is not a knight. Um, right. Um, uh, my uncle, as in mother's side? Uh, I believe so. Gotcha. Um, I'm trying to remember here. Give me a sec. Uh, family yeah. night. We have Thomas. We have, um, okay, Thomas. Uh, I think this was your father's sibling, but you don't have an older or middle-aged knight, so. Gotcha. Um, or as in my father's sibling, as in uh, Gortrix's or Edric's? Because if that's the case, then it's my father. Uh, one, one sec. Yeah. Yeah, family trees, man. Yeah. They'll get you every time. <laughs> well, and running two different characters will turn me off this there. You know, this is probably why, like, nobility just did all the incest, so it would be easy to keep track of. Yeah, it's got exactly. one straight line. Exactly. Yeah, they're, they're my relative somehow. My, my, <laughs> my, my father uncle. My father uncle. Uh, my <laughs> father uncle. So, you know, just to, to bring up your, your Winterborn Stoke, you have um, your mother who, uh, sorry, Edric's mother who married Harold. This is brother of Harold, which is younger than Harold. That's what we gotcha. have on your... So this would be this would be Gortrix's dad. No, Gortrix's no. dad no. is uh, you. You are maternally you are maternally related to. I understand. To Edric, so this is gotcha. this is Edric's uncle and your uncle because your your mother is related to. Um, gotcha. Is related to Harold. Like the old. All right. Word. So I get it. That that confusion aside, it's just your uncle. <laughs> so now it's out of the way. Yeah. Um, uh, uncle, uncle, uh, is everything all right? I and he tries to dismount, but like as he twists, he like uh, grimaces ever so slightly and just like remains. Ah, you've returned. Good. Uh, might need your help. Uh, the horses are in distress. Yes, I rounds. can see that. Uh, and uh, Gortrix has come with like six of the horses that he usually travels with in tow. Um, though his squires are riding too. Um, what uh, what happened? Did they get here? Did they come so far inland? Well, no. Uh, the Saxons have, did it attack Salisbury. If you haven't heard the king is dead. 
I did. I heard some rumors as we traveled through at a terrible tragedy. It is. It seems some of the locals, some of the peasants, they took the opportunity uh, with so many mites and uh, knights in muster. And, uh, well, as you know, we have no, no one but you that carries the rank of knight. Yes. Uh, they yeah. made off with one of our rounds and tried to burn the stables. Oh, thank, thank all the spirits who would listen and God himself that uh, uh, the whole thing did not burn down. I feel ashamed that uh, I, I left you so undefended. Um, uh, but good work. I, are they still at large? Do you know where they went? We don't, unfortunately. Then I swear to you this. I hold on a second. Um, and he does. He, uh, you know how William Shatner like gets on chairs. Yeah. <laughs> that's how. That's how Gorgrix gets off the horse to avoid yeah. aggravating his wound. He like kind of swings his leg over and lands with a thump. Yeah. Um, kind of uh, riding leathers, uh, just shifting as he lands. Gotcha. I will not rest. Actually, wait. I will rest a little bit until I am, you know, slightly more fit to ride, and then You're I will wounded, find nephew. them. I am very wounded. I was much worse. Uh, King Vortigern's son actually gave me this. It's. I'll tell you the story later. Um, the horse. I the will... horse can be found, but I, I must caution you. You are our only sword arm until the little lord comes of age. And how is he? How's he doing? Has he been squired in any of the like nearby battles? He is squired, in fact. Uh, where did you mark down, Thomas, for your character squire? Um, uh, he was squired in Salisbury. Uh, you, because I rolled a, uh, I rolled just a thing, and he was like in uh, the local area. I'm gonna make this further. super amusing. Um, mm -hmm. You know whose family uh, you're squired with? Oh uh, yeah. You. you uh, so your character, your your primary character, uh, yeah. to be played in the future, Edric, is squired in Newton Manor. No, no, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. yes, uh, as Gortrix hears that news, he kind of like gives a very unamused look. Really, uh, perhaps the rest of his family shows more honor. The prince himself has made uh, Sir Jareth of Newton Manor his personal enemy, and like I'm inclined to agree, I'll break his legs. But wait, I was I was swearing I was swearing vengeance. Should I find these thieves, and I will do my best. Uh, uh, whether I need help or will do so alone, I will hunt them to the ends of probably Salisbury, and bring them to justice, and our horses back. Just make sure you're of health first. I would hate to I see will. I have... Winterboard Stoke without a knight is not a future I wish to see. Yes, yes. We have seen a glimpse of it when I was away, but uh, do not worry. Uh, we, we shall have others. Uh, and as uh, soon as my, my cousin is of age, and I have made many children, we will be fine. But yes, I, I have made many friends, and uh, possibly I can call on them to aid me in this endeavor. Indeed. Also, I need bed rest. Like seriously, <laughs> I have learned some prudence, but uh, yes. <laughs> um, and and we'll say for this guy, uh, there's no way that he would typically like as as the brother of of a lord. He he uh, would likely have some kind of condition that that prevents him from being able to to have been squired and knighted, because otherwise, there's no way he would have you know not been. Um, Bone spurs. Yeah. Uh, whatever it is, you know, it, it's probably short of witchcraft somewhere in there. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's, that's our <laughs> medicine level right now. Um, all right. So, well, my, yeah, the reason we have so few knights is, well, most of them joined a witch's coven. I mean, we still love them, of course, but, you know, they just can't uh, be seen around us. Right, right. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to do with this particular vignette, or if not, I'll move on to Edward. 
Uh, with going home, uh, he'd just like to see all the people, uh, see the horses that um, are usually there, and he's going to spend the rest of the afternoon just relaxing, getting his breath back, uh, and tending to the, the horses that uh, they still have, putting everything back, letting them have rest. No, dude. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll move now to um, to Edward in Idmiston. So Idmiston is... <laughs> Idmiston is right here. On the map. We've got like a little we've got like a little triangle of terror. Like yeah. the only thing that blocks us is Emsbury Abbey. And you know what? There <laughs> must go down. Yeah. We can conquer them easily. Uh, <laughs> They're monks. <laughs> look, look, look. What are they gonna do? We'll meet at Stonehenge and we'll make it look like the druids did. <laughs> yes. Except, well, actually I'm kind of in with the druids. I'm I'm pagan. <laughs> oh one of those. <laughs> What? I, One look, of those hipster knights. I'm I'm ancient Christian man. I gotta be mean to everybody who's slightly different to me. <laughs> I'm modern Christian, uh, British Christian. So I'll hate you. I just won't say it out. <laughs> I like everyone. <laughs> well, yeah, you're pagan. <laughs> um. So. Edward, we're going to skip past sort of all of you learning the news of the king, but you do it's very shortly, you know, into your return. Uh, as you reach in Mistin, um, you end up um, also in a conversation with your uncle, uh, Uncle Bledig. Um He, too, is not a knight. <laughs> um, um, he's there do with... Have... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was wondering, is there any other knights that would currently be there? Because I think the brothers are knights, but I think they're all younger than Edward. Yeah, so so no. In, in this era, mm. your young knights, folks aren't actually old yeah. enough to yeah. be knights. They'll be coming into to age in the next uh, while. Mm. Or um, I think two of them are younger, so they'll become knights after. Yeah. So you have... Mm. Yeah, you have um, two young brothers, both alive and married, an illegitimate uh, younger brother, alive, not married, and an illegitimate older brother, alive and married. The older brother is I think who you're Edward. playing. That is Edward. Yeah. The younger brother you're about to meet right now, um, okay. he is <clears throat> standing beside um, Bledig. Um, last you knew, um, his name is uh, Cadfile. Um, mm -hmm. Last you knew, Cadfile was squired. Um, it's a surprise to see him at home. I think Florence will kind of look to him. Cadwile, why are you here? Where's your knight? Well, I... Bledig, uh, your uncle, uh, puts a hand on your shoulder and says, it's, it's good to see you, Edward. Cadfile here um, is... His knight uh, died bravely during the uh, Battle of Salisbury. I, I know you weren't here to, to hear it, but the Saxons, they believed the Saxons would attack further west. They did not. They attacked Salisbury. That's where this is the battlefield you weren't present for, the battlefield where the king fell. Hmm. That is deeply sorrowing to hear. And in truth, quite enraging that they would take take us in our own homes. Well, uh, do we lose anything? Uh, how am I, the brothers? Are they well? Well enough. Not yet heard of news of the young lord. Um, right. And then, Mark, where did where do you reference again? Where did where did we? You're from. Uh, uh, was it the Saxon shores or was it Barrack? It was the Saxon Shores. Let me. He was being mm. squired in Berwick. Berwick, yeah. yeah. So these are the, the cool Saxons, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the ones that still don't like him very much. much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe you don't know that, um, or maybe you've lost track of where he's where he is right now. Mm -hmm. That yeah. might be news to you. So you you hear the Lord being mentioned, but you don't really know where he's at. 
right now. I would just be glad he wasn't here when the attack happened. Well, Edward, um, Ledig here, or, or sorry, CAD file here, Ledig Can says, um, if you wouldn't mind, I think he's in need of a knight. Right. Edward says, uh, <laughs> <laughs> looking around for a moment and going, no real knight here. Oh, right. <laughs> Well, Cadwick. Cadwick or Cadgar? Which was it? Um, it Bledig is the one you're talking to, and Cadfile is the. Bledig, Cadfile. Well, Cadfile, I hope you're ready for some ruling training. You need to be ready for when you are properly of age to be knighted. Oh, yes, no. I am most certainly ready. I've never been more ready. Good. You can start by cleaning my sword and arm <laughs> at this point. He just hangs his head. This is how he was treated in his last time. Um, yeah. He was, um, so uh, a point of interest for Edward, you know that Cadfile is so, so you know, also uh, an illegitimate child, <laughs> but not, yep. not from the same mother. Uh, nope. Nope. Um, Specifically, uh, if I remember correctly, a chambermaid. <laughs> yes, yep, that's a hundred percent what it is. So, good father. old dad. Uh, <laughs> Man, you know, I I hadn't really fully like conceptualized the realities of your situation, and I have so much more respect for you now. <laughs> the the Edmontons are a large family. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> maybe a very large family. Uh, yeah, so uh, at this point, is there anything else you, you wanted to do with the scene with Blood Egg and, or Cadfile or anything you wanted to do at your um, home in, in Mistin? I feel like it'd mostly just be like sending off a, a missive to uh, the Lord being like, are we going to do anything about this? Because uh, if so, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to fuck up these, these bastards. Okay. Um, that, that's actually, about it. Why don't, you, why don't you test intrigue for me real quick? Uh, by the way, Thomas, if you didn't have uh, awareness checked, you can check that. I shall. No, that's a failure. Okay. Yeah, so um, you you are basically waiting to see if Roderick, um, your count, uh, has any sort of reply for the king's death and, and what is to happen. You would assume that um, if you've heard no, no news, which you will not hear any news mm. till, till the um, winter court, um, yeah. likely the Christmas court will be your best place for it. So, okay. Uh, and we'll, we'll, that'll be actually our next uh, session. So um, I know what Edward would be pushing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, just changing scenes here uh, we're gonna cut over to Durnford. oh god uh my mouth full hang on yeah, yeah you're <laughs> uh, i can i can set this the start of this scene for you mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. all right um I took a big bite <laughs> yeah no you're good okay so <laughs> um dallin and Durnford. uh this scene picks up with uh uh, Dallin's mother, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um, okay. Um, so, uh, I think it's pronounced Flyry. Uh, F L I O R E is your mother's name. That um, sounds correct to me. Yeah. Um, I would say Fleor and then butcher that probably normally, but I looked it up <laughs> online and that's what it gave me instead. Um, so, uh, you know, Flyry is one of the few sort of confidants Dallin has and one of the few confidants that, that um, really knows a lot about Dallin, right? And yeah, knows I, who Dallin is as a person. Um, I get you. He, uh, or she rather, um, 
she informs um Dallin uh she she's basically giving you an update for she she would start the whole process by of course uh, greeting you with a hug and saying you you made it she seems especially concerned uh, she was not happy to hear that you were um mustering and going to war <laughs> i'm fine mother as it turns out, things got more than a little out of hand with my uh, trip to Sir Roderick's court. Yeah. Indeed. I, I just worried so much. I can't afford to lose anyone else close, you know? She, yes. she changes the, the tone of that a bit and goes, okay, uh, what's next? What's next? Well, uh, uh, I've heard nothing... No news of, of the Lord yet. Um, mm. But there have been certain situations we might need to deal with uh, regarding your sister. Uh, there have been I, inquiries into Elizabeth's hand in marriage. I see. Um, okay. Uh, I suppose... Um, if you will uh, prepare a list for me, perhaps I can um, meet them in her stead. After all, I am fairly protective. Um, I do uh, have a few letters I need to write. Uh, it's good to see you, Mother. It's good to have you back. And if you should know, um, Sir Dolphius, she kind of winces a bit at the name uh, of Silchester. He is a banneret. That is your best offer. Ah, <sighs> if only they knew <laughs> what what kind of glory I have just won for the family. <laughs> um, uh, that reminds me. Um, I I suppose in certain circles we're being hailed as heroes to a degree. Um, we were a part of the vanguard that, uh, struck Passiont down from his own horse. Vortigern's son. That's right. His last remaining, by my count. She looks impressed. Well, that sounds dangerous. I'm just happy you've returned. And that'll most certainly pay off well for... Durnford. Yes. Uh, how's Perrin? Have you heard word from him? I'm a bit worried with that, actually. Uh, I haven't heard from the Lord or his situation with the recent insurgence of, of the Saxons. I, I don't know. I don't know where he is. I'll add him to my list of letters I need to write. Thank you uh, for taking care of things while I was away. You're most welcome. She smiles at you, kind of hugs you again, and then um, heads off. Is there anything else you wanted to do in Durnford, or anything you wanted to check out? Yes. Okay. Um, I would like to... Uh, I would like to write some letters. Uh, the first three, very <laughs> important. Or the first two, very important. First 19. Super first 19. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, first two are going to be <laughs> to Edward and uh, and uh, the my best friend, whose name I'm forgetting right now. Gortrix. Gortrix, yeah. <laughs> um, first two are going to be to them, just basically a, hey, I got home safe. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Boy, we really fucking did it, didn't we? That's crazy. <laughs> um, you know, just a general checkup and keeping in touch kind of thing, because uh, Dallin has a strong suspicion they're going to need some friends in the times to come. Um, and then, of course, one to the Lord that's got Sir Perrin, or not Sir Perrin, but just Perrin. Uh, and then I suppose I will write a letter to the wonderful charming man who wants to marry my sister <laughs> okay and what, what so what are the contents of that one 
Uh, that one specifically is just going to be more the lines of, like, I heard you've got interest in my sister's hand in marriage. Um, we are interested in accepting your proposal, but uh, I'd like to meet you first. Um, at some point in the near future, let's arrange a visit. I will come to you kind of things, you know? Okay. Noted. Perfect. All right. So I... Uh, sorry. Judge your worthiness. Oh. <laughs> there is one thing Ed would want to do, but we can save it for next week. Yep. But, uh, it's mostly uh, Edward having a sudden realization of uh, his own mortality after the battle. Uh, is also going to write some letters, but to some specific people if he can name names. Um, starting off, uh, it'd be one of them would be the, the woman who, who uh, laughed at his cruelty. <laughs> I, can't remember. <laughs> I don't think we get, gave her a name, but no, we were trying no, to figure out who it is. Is this um? Yeah, that's fair. No, uh, oh boy, if, I'm. I don't think you're going to be able to get a hold of that name, buddy. I I don't know about that one. Is yeah. this uh, Edward's diss track? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. kind of. Uh, I literally, I was going to have him write a <laughs> and just see if he does any good. Uh, yeah, he oh. needs a wife and. She seemed kind of interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, write, really a, write a poem that's somewhat insulting about other people. Roses yeah. are red. Okay. I um, stabbed. Uh, Saxons stab are red. Uh, <laughs> why don't, are why don't you red. give me a poetry roll for that one? Shields are blue. Easy. I uh, want to make some. Saxons that be, be dead. Compose. Yes, please. And um, yeah. right. I think for. I think for what Dallin's doing, I'll get you to test um, courtesy for your last letter specifically. <laughs> Never mind then. That's a nineteen. <laughs> Not a bot, well, it wasn't though. a twenty, so you didn't yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thinking of you your reminds me of being out in the stables, specifically yeah. the smell. <laughs> your face is like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> And it, it's where you just go into some elaborate detail about um, all the blood, you know, on your yeah. hands and <laughs> the yeah. sights you saw. I killed a lot of people. And, I will kill again. And, and Liam, did you did you make that roll, <laughs> courtesy roll? Oh, uh, I did not. Okay, Let it's for your that. last letter. We're gonna get you to test that. Yeah, the 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 most important of the boat, the bunch yeah. to do well on. Oh, oh. <laughs> I am feeling the absence of battle bloodlust now. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, could I just be extra, like, like clearly disinterested and rude in it? <laughs> is that acceptable? <laughs> is that, do you think that's what, I'd say your intentions were to be courteous right because you that was your correct real goal i think what dallin ends up doing is um uh, offending him um with this um basically uh, his station is such that this is a great opportunity for elizabeth mm -hmm. but you you go beyond protective you mm -hmm. almost sound like but you know like he's a peasant, weirdly obsessive you know? about it for yeah, some yeah. reason yeah and, and it, it yeah. it's going to bring a fan, uh, yeah it's he's going to bring that was very a dangerous <laughs> awesome. place nowadays yeah. i, I pray for your that. safety and that you do nothing <laughs> that would indicate otherwise <laughs> all right i think that's Just so you know i am very good with a sword <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um all right, so I think we're going to go ahead and um, yeah. end the night there. Uh, why don't we go ahead and do a quick... So um, just uh, uh, what's next? I'll, I'll always start with one of those if I can. Uh, we're going to be going into the winter court and then winter phase next time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, so Woo. first year over. Um, I just want to say that was a very enjoyable session, guys. Thanks a lot for playing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, full on. Yeah. And we'll we'll maybe do we'll start with our uh, we'll we'll start our close out with Thomas.
All right, beautiful. Uh, I am Thomas. It's been lovely uh, playing with all of you guys. Thank you so much to Bob, and thank you to all of you guys watching. Mark? All right, then. Uh, hi, I have been Mark. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And, um, yeah, hope to see you guys next time. And for those listening on the VOD, well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Let's go with that. Uh, and Liam. Yeah. Uh, I, hi, everybody. Bye, everybody. Uh, I had a great time. Um, go ahead and you can follow me uh, at Darth Coakley on Twitter. I say funny stuff sometimes. And I, as always, enjoyed my time with this game immensely. Looking forward to next week to be cold and wet. Yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed with the way this game is working out, like how it kind of plays out for me just as a GM. Um, I, I feel like it just kind of takes on a life of its own and I don't have to sort of do... I don't have to guide this the way I usually have to in most games where I feel like I have to be very hands-on. It's very cool that way. <laughs> uh, I'm the GM, Bob. Thanks for watching again and we'll see you hopefully next week. Take care, everyone. Yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. Farewell.